you today on the, in, in the Celestial area. War. And oh, uh, oh my God, <laughs> I like when everyone gets nervous. Can't wait yes. to, I really can't wait to see who is. <sighs> This one's going to be a doozy. I'm sure it is. Oh, no. Uh, you make your way into the arena, and you walk out onto the uh, the sand, and everyone <sighs> shouts Hogar. Hogar! 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 Good evening. What is up? Welcome to Audio Dungeon. I'm your host and DM, Tony Hansen, joined by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew, Ross Pataro, Dan Isgro, Damian Scro, Brooke Armstrong, Vidi Pro, and from the virtual world, Tom Kakoza, and joined by our special guest, Seth Price, and today, our surprise secret guest, who's going to come on right now. Drum roll, please. Longtime fan of the show, Evan Moniz. Yeah. What's hey. up? All right. Evan, Evan plays Woo! a part of Ow! Volt. What's going on, Evan? What's going on, Seth? How you guys doing? Uh, doing great, Tony. Thanks for having me on again. Awesome, awesome. And uh, how you doing, Evan? Yeah, doing good. Awesome. Be on the show. Evan is live from Japan. You immediately win the distance record. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Evan. <laughs> I'm loving all these episode titles. I make them. Obviously, that's why I love them. But, uh, <laughs> just a little self bias. But, but I like. But I like to pat the, himself on the I, back. I, I just, what I just mean to say is, I like the way they're going. Sometimes I name them, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, this one's about the Chronomancer. I'm going to call it the Chronomancer." <laughs> so I feel I'm not excited about those. I, I named them all before they came out, and it's not easy because sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. You don't know. We never know like, what's going to happen. Kind of There's been about two or three where. I, I named him, and, and then uh, something happened, and I'm like, um, "We just I, took a left turn." I, yeah. wish, I wish I named something different. <laughs> I, Albuquerque. But I was very, I was very proud of uh, what I named um, uh, I am Arky Fint. Oh, oh, oh yeah. that was so great. <laughs> that, was yeah. that was so good. <laughs> because I was, I was like, "He'll say it somewhere. He knows the name of the name of the game here. He's, he'll say it somewhere." <laughs> and he said, "Ladies and gentlemen, I am Arky Fint." I go, "Thank you." The name makes sense. <laughs> Justification. Yes. <laughs> Extended contract. Yes. Dun dun dun. Oh no! Let me go over to this thing. Oh, oh whoa! Go. You're right. You're right. The lights do work again. Very nice. Mm. Last week. Ah, oh, you're over here, camera four, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Last week on Audio Dungeon, many things happened. Hogar had an interesting battle with his kin, and did not care, and he beat them to the bloody pulp. Especially Brooke's character. <laughs> where, where, the, where the half giant ran away and threw up, and he just <laughs> killed the character. Also, Rob's been going on an interesting journey with Jacques and his fellow gnomes in what we call hashtag Gnome Patrol. Gnome Patrol has left the sunken city and is now venturing out towards the Red City, now called Goblin City, run by Kanos, called the Red Goblin. Meanwhile, Batorius. Abyssia and Findalar are heading to Rhaegar to try to find out what the hell's going on, guys. <laughs> and try to get more information about what's been happening. And finally, underneath Dunehammer, in the land of the giants, with your companion, don't say it, Seth, Vin for 20. Don't read <laughs> it! <laughs> I don't remember where it was. Although, I even when you're, I'm not scared of you no, reading right. it. No. <laughs> She's not good. For 25 experience points, if you could say it correctly, and Seth would be the judge, what is Seth's name in the game? Fiddy. Kuzra. Wow! Oh, oh, oh my God. Hooked on phonics work for him. Well, no, you know why, right? No. There, there was experience points involved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that's what I, <laughs> I just need a coax. <laughs> it was a roll save. Carrot. It was a save. <laughs> you need the carrot. Yeah, thank you. That's what, yes. Your wife Emily is like, I'm going to start giving experience points. Here. <laughs> <laughs> is this how I get him to mop? <laughs> then I'll give you 25 experience points. Just mop. Whatever level you want to be on. Okay. Just mop. <laughs> um, she actually talks to Tony. <laughs> Can you Take raise this up? Tony. So, uh, this all the wives are going to be calling me now. <laughs> yeah. And husband. <laughs> uh, you are underneath uh, Dunehammer with the Seer, with um, Kuzra, and with Arnor. 
and now with uh, King Kalio. And you're in the Atlanta Giants going towards the vault that is rumored to have the last druidic ring that could help save the planet because Dragano is burning Endaria from the inside out and from the outside in. It's a terrible thing. Uh, that is your recap. You're now caught up. And this is Audio Dungeon. Hi, I'm your host, Tony Hansen. And today, we're going to venture in the fine world of Indaria with these fine ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to see what happens to them. Let's start off with Hogar. Oh. Hogar. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite color? How about purple? <laughs> All right. Good. Hogar, you are in Queensland. This is about two days... And actually, for everybody, this is about two days after. Okay? Two days have passed from last episode to this episode. Two days after. Uh, you actually have fought one other time, and you fought a creature in the arena. What creature did he fight? Mm. Vin, Brooke, Damien, Rob. What creature did he fight? A centaur. You fought a, you fought a centaur. Wow. And oh, you won you were... because it's a centaur. <sighs> Why? Centaurs are be tough. He is 20th level. All right, so? centaur. Why, you never has seen a 20th level centaur? <laughs> make one. I have not has, seen a 20th level centaur. Who has seen a 20th level centaur? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll, I'll make one next time we play. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. We're all making level one characters. You make a 20th level centaur. You said you want to see one. That is, that is definitely a good use of your time. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean. Okay, so um, you fought a centaur. It was a hero centaur. And, uh, yeah, everyone was amazed. All so, right. So, uh... Now we're two days after that, that battle we had on, uh, on Only Dungeon, and you receive a knock at the door. Do you remember the name of the guy who was the page that came to see, see Hogar the other day that you named? I do. What was Chordo. No. no. Chordo is the, is the guy that works in the, uh, the jails below. I named the other guy too? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You name everybody almost. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that name. Quetzal. Quetzal? Oh, Quetzal. <laughs> Quartzel. 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 Yeah, Quartzel. Okay, so you get a knock at the door. Oh, Quartzel. Look to see if I have a doorknob. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what are you touching? Holgar? Quartzel, is that you? Yes, it's Quartzel. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> You've been summoned by the Queen. By the Queen? She wishes to speak with you. The guards are here. Uh, very well. Send her in. She's not coming <laughs> into your room. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Presumptuous, huh? Easy. One of the guards goes, wow. <laughs> he throws all the dirty clothes in the wow. closet. You forgot the part where you say, so I can kill her. <laughs> this guy. Just, this just guy. a second. <laughs> <laughs> He gets rid of his, like, kill the queen size. Sprays the Manaka. <laughs> but it sprays out. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. Okay, so you go out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. You go outside. You, um... What are my hit points at now? <laughs> <laughs> you're full. You're, you're full. <laughs> this All might right. be the death of Hogar. <laughs> you make your way down the, down the tower, no and reason. you head to the main keep, and there is guard after guard, <laughs> and by the time you get to the, to the queen's um, uh, throne room, and you must have passed about a thousand guards, and now there are elite guards inside here. Just, just saying the word guards a million times, so you, so you know, guards. <laughs> no shortage. So no, there are no shortage of guards. It's signs say, "Don't worry, we have no shortages." And uh, you walk in. There are a few wizards in there, isn't there as well? Arella is there. Arella, who's uh, pretty high up, and um, sitting across a grand ballroom is the queen. And today she's wearing a gold outfit, but it always has these illustrious wings and, you know, things that go out to the side and such. Garments. Fashion. <laughs> you know. Very nice. Bedazzled. Yes. Okay. So you make the walk over there, which I imagine, and the walk mm -hmm. takes you about two minutes, because that's how big the ballroom is. Okay. Wow. The queen is sitting in her throne. You may roleplay. <clears throat> Your Majesty... Isn't it customary to kneel before your queen? What was that hand gesture? I, I, I kneel with a flourish. I did not require any flourish. It, it makes the kneeling fancier for your majesty. Hogar. I kneel. 
I want to see how impressed I am. In fact, I'm very impressed by you. Thank you. You've come a long way from your early days, worshipping the Red Knight. Quite humorous, actually. But now you are here, and you are fighting for my honor. And I do not deny that I don't enjoy this. Once a hero of the world, now a gladiator for my entertainment. What do you think of your new position? I'm the strongest gladiator in Queensland. Great. Now, what do you think of your new position? <laughs> um, I'm doing what I do best. Hogar. 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 You're not answering my question. She stands up. And uh, the the huge thing kind of stays. She walks up. And she walks up near you. And she like runs her finger along like your chest plate. Is there anything that you want? What can I do for you, Hogar? You are the hero of Queensland now. Yes. I suppose I am. Well, surely a hero is not without his own wants and needs. What do you need? What do you want? Well, you've seen to my every need thus far. I have, haven't I? You're a very generous queen. Well, of course, and I thank you for that compliment. I must say I am so intrigued by you because I cannot read you. It's funny. Every mortal is so easy to understand and for their minds to infiltrate is but a mere thought for me. But for some reason I cannot for you. I suppose it's, for, it's from the exploits of what I heard of the... <laughs> oh, someone spilled my can. <laughs> a Red Bull. <laughs> Pick it up. Gives you wings. <laughs> now, where was I? You, you, you can't read my mind. Yes, thank you. I can't read your mind. Well, I suppose it's from the crystal rod. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure either, Your Your Majesty. We... But I must say, it's very intriguing for me. So, usually with everyone, I know exactly what they're thinking and know exactly where their loyalty lies. So I'm <laughs> thinking... Perhaps one more test. One more test of your loyalty to me. And then perhaps I'll have something special for you. Would you like that? And how will you be testing me? <laughs> In the arena, of course. How else would I test you? How else do you test a heroic gladiator such as yourself? Of course. <laughs> Run along, Hogar. I'll call you and let you know when it's all ready. Thank you, Your Majesty. And it, before you go, is there anything that I can do for you? Anything you want to know? Any burning questions within? Anything? You may ask me one question. Ask me two and I'll destroy you. <laughs> ask me three now. Let's go back to oh. just the one. You yourself are a very powerful being of course where are where have all the other ancients gone <laughs> you wish to know where they are go where they have gone everyone seems to have left us in our most dire times i suppose it is a fair question do you have a <clears throat> well hogar I guess the best answer would be to tell you that I have recently, upon the arrival of my father, added the Red Knight, the Archmage, and the Elven Lord to my collection of prisoners. Aren't you glad you're working for me? 
Imagine if you were on the losing side. You would have so much to fear. Yes, you are more powerful than a, a mere mortal, but you would simply be destroyed. And now you can be a hero for the queen. Don't worry about the other ancients. And once my father finds their soul crystals, let's just say they will move from prisoner to non-existence. Very well, your majesty. Don't worry about the ancients, though. Go back to your room. Do some push-ups. I will. And I'll be ready when I'm called to enter the arena. Very good. I'm very, very excited for your battle. As am I. Good day, Hogar. Thank you, your majesty. I go to my room. I don't turn my back to the queen, though. Very good. Just... She knows that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reactions, guys, in chat. What do you think of that? What's what's going on wow. with the queen? What's going on with Hogar? It felt, it I felt can't, very tense. I can't wait to see who he has to murder. It's going to be great. I have, a, I have a very bad feeling about that, about who that is. Let's not talk about what it. What that is. No, I'm just saying that. It's ominous to me. Ren sent in a reroll for a thousand stars. Thank you, Ren. All awesome. right, Ren. Yay, Appreciate that. Ren. Wow. Thank you, Ren. Excellent. Okay, guys, we're gonna go over to Gnome Patrol. Um, Evan is in Gnome Patrol. Oh, Every, everyone except Tom's character, Corny, who stayed behind. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the water suit back here just in case the city floods. <laughs> the swimsuit. <laughs> the swimsuit, <laughs> as Brooke called it. Aqua suit. The swimsuit. That's hilarious. Um, so, <clears throat> you guys left two days ago. The, the, uh, the sunken city blasted out a plethora of cannons, uh, keeping all the uh, monsters and creatures at bay to give you like a wide berth to get out. And that's exactly what it did. You guys started walking, and it's uh, all the suits walking. Let's go around the room. And everyone uh, before the episode has, has chosen their, their suits. And um, let's go around the room and see which, which suit they have. Rob. I have the flying suit. Rob has a suit of flying. I have a spider suit. Nice. And this is this is the gnome patrol guys. This is all the gnome characters. Yes, I'm Shirky. I have the Buster suit. <laughs> the Buster suit. I have the sandwich suit. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It's got a got a nice deli slicer right here. You want a little gobble go? You want I a little do a bajou? schmear. I do a schmear. Um, no, I have the gun suit. I cut them so thin that they're, you can't even see them. <laughs> How do you know you cut them? Because <laughs> I just assumed. The flavor's got nowhere to hide. Phantom <clears throat> flavor. What do you got, Vin? I am packing the electro suit. Vin is, is packing the suit that he's been, he's been playing with the last two weeks. <laughs> no, he doesn't. And Seth, what suit do you have? Uh, so I'm uh, Grinkle, and I've got the camo suit. That's right. And Evan. I've got my Volt special suit. Volt Ooh. special suit. Are you going to let us know what Ooh. it does? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Okay, so Summons the Seth, I'm sorry. Did you In say the sand? <laughs> yeah, Seth. Seth, did you say camo suit or camel suit? That's what I. I thought I heard camel too. That's like a good question. <laughs> <laughs> he could go Is forever it? with no water. I think that's a lot of water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. He watches like he, it's like a water in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> what's the purpose of my suit again? <laughs> so we don't go thirsty. It's our so we don't die. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, thirsty. Yeah, well, yeah. it's a companion to the uh, the swimsuit, but you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, they go together. <laughs> yes, these two guys are very helpful for each other. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. And, and Tom, what are you doing back in um, in Arky's uh, <clears throat> shop? Have you made a corny shop yet? Yeah, it's, it's Arky and Corny's now. Um, <laughs> oh, that is, <laughs> is true. Corny's housewares. Nice. That was quick. Arky Corny. and Corny co-proprietors. Corny's Corner. Uh, oh yeah, that's Corny. right. Corny's Corner. Well, that's 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 signed. I, I want to wait a week. You know, I want to make sure that you know. <laughs> Sol solid seven. Wait a week to mourn. To mourn. <laughs> solid seven. I'm coming back, Corny. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Scott Weber says the sandwich suit has a panini press. Yes, it does. <laughs> nice. Oh, you make me hungry. That's awesome. Right under the arm. <laughs> Guys, don't forget you need 75 shares today to get the requirements for the totem and the reroll. 75 oh, shares. As of right now, Chew I see. Let's see. Maybe refresh it. I got 52, 62. We're close. Ooh. You are 13 away. Share it out. Help us out. Sh share it out. Share it to your friends. Share it to your mom. Um, let people know. Yeah. So here we share go, guys. It to your mother. Mm. 
Hear that, Mom? So here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's let your mom know. <laughs> See how you mom me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are walking out, and it's basically been um, like barren, red mist everywhere. And uh, Jacques is in the middle of everybody in, this, in the, uh, the tank. And uh, Linda is there with him, chatting him up. And so that's a, that's a fun time, I'm sure. <laughs> so um, <laughs> you guys make your way for about two days, as I mentioned. And you get to a point where you realize that it's getting a little bit harder and harder to avoid these creatures. And the creatures are flying about. Sometimes they're ahead of you. You guys stop. You don't want to fight. You don't want to waste your ammo. You don't want to waste anything you'll have to waste because you need to get to this, this big battle, you know, um, in one piece. So you come across... Big battle with eight gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. eight, eight gnomes. The invading army. Yes. <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> we have a guy named Lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing you ever did, Dave. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Best thing you ever did. You guys are, you arrive at a, at a point where you see this bridge going across. And the bridge is going across uh, an area in the desert that was once probably normal desert and barren land, but now is a crevice that goes down deep. And all you see is like the red fire and, and mist just coming out of it. So it's, it's a fissure that formed after. There's a bridge that goes across. This bridge is not a, a um, fabricated bridge, it's just, a, just like a stone natural bridge passing. It looks crumbly. Hmm. And you could tell from the distance that this is probably the point that you would have to go. Otherwise, you're going to probably add about four or five days to your whole journey around the mountain range. Normally, this is the way that you would pass, but now this is the only way to pass in this area. You can all role play. Uh, you with Sparky, Seth, Evan, and Jacques and Linda. Role play. Do you think the tank's going to make it over that bridge? It's, yeah. it's a little crumbly. I don't know. Looks a lot crumbly. These suits are heavy, aren't they? How far close is it, Tony? Across the, the bridge is probably about half a mile. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, the tank stops. The jock, jock comes out. I know, Linda. Uh, yes, yes, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, wait, wait here. Wait, wait, I'll come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to ride with Linda? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jock? Best job you ever had? Yes, by far. One hundred percent. Can't wait to get there. I'll do anything except this. <laughs> Even die. <laughs> I'll throw myself at the goblin single-handedly. <laughs> yes, whatever it takes. Uh, we can look you in the barrel. <laughs> yes, perfect. That's, what, that's much better than what I'm going through. Um, this looks dangerous. Marky. But, but I, I know this area, yes. It's a long, long way if you're going to go around. What do you want to do? How big is the tank itself? The tank just makes it. Mm. How heavy is the tank? Well, uh, well yes. <laughs> yeah. kind of, Marky, is the tank the heaviest yeah, thing It's probably thing like four or five tons. Here with us? I think is it heavier is... than all the suits? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. It's a big tank. Mm. <sighs> maybe maybe the tank should go first, then. Or last. <laughs> <laughs> or not at all. Maybe... It... We need, do need to go around. It'll take longer, but I mean, well, but they, I'm worried they're just gonna fall into that chasm. What if? What if we? Um, is there any way we can make it go faster? Mm. Because mm. If, if we keep our momentum up, it'll give us less of a chance of the ground breaking, and we can across. I don't know about that. Um, is this Sparky? Uh. I don't think we should go fast. I think we should be careful. <laughs> well, if this thing weighs as much as you say it does and we put it on the bridge, I feel like the longer we have it sitting on the bridge at a slower rate of speed, that's true, the but more of a chance of it. How fast are we going to go? Oh, I don't, how fa I, I'm asking, how fast does this thing move? It probably moves about 30 miles an hour. You probably have to go one at a time, too. Well, I mean, we could we could cross and... The tank can go. Maybe we should cross all the suits first. That way, at least they're across. And then the tank last. Can we use the suits in any way to amplify the speed on the tank? Yes. I can, I can reduce the size of the tank. Oh. Yeah. Uh. That's magic? It. You have magic in your suit? I got magic all over the place, man. 
Mm. Oh, that's right. You put a gem in it. <sighs> wow. Is that an amethyst? Well, no, as a spell. I have uh, my spell casting to allow me to enlarge and reduce size or reduce size of things. Yes, you could do it in character. Stay in character. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. See this thing right here? I point it, things get big, things get small. But would Jacques be able to stay inside and drive it? <laughs> yes, what would happen if I was inside that thing and driving it? Does that mean I'm going to get smaller? I believe so. And will I go back to my normal size? After the spells cancel, <laughs> yes. <laughs> would Linda's mouth stay the same it's size? He doesn't never seem... been tried, but I'm always down for some experience. <laughs> Uh, I, am not, I am not comfortable with, <laughs> with, with being small. four foot or three foot for the rest of my life. How how how, how small? small? Yeah. yeah, how small can you make it? Can I put it in my pocket? Oh. That is way too small. I am not driving a one inch tank. Over. No, you, you would be out outside of it at that point. Oh, okay. If we okay. carried it over, it's small, and then you can get back in when it goes. That's fine then. Yeah. That's fine then. How how small can you make it? Would be about half the size and one eighth the weight, I believe, if memory serves. Half the size and mm. one eighth the weight. So that is an improvement. Mm. Um, is there any, any limit to the enlarged spell or reduce? Uh, not that I can see. Maybe we could push it over. But if it's, mm. you can't stay in. Pretty sure object. Right. Okay, crash. In there. Well, it's a quarter of the <laughs> it's size. Right, because I am. It's pretty big. big. I mean, Jock might be able to squeeze himself in there if it's a quarter of the size. Oh, well, I, I think one of us should drive if we need a small person in there. Oh, yeah. One of We're us can fit in there. Small. I mean, we can drive. Te technically, if Jacques is wearing the tank, then I can shrink them both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Does he doff and don the tank? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> it's a really, really loose fitting mech suit. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. This, this, this you call it a tank, but this is my baby, and it's called the Rapture. And I, I'm just not very comfortable about turning it into very, very small. And, and it, I know it's magic, but I'm not okay with this. I, I we built this for a long time. I drove it here, and you're gonna turn it into a little car in your pocket. It's not. I'm not. I'm so. I just no, no. I can't do it. How much time will it add to our trip if we have to find another way around or over? It's about four or five days. I don't think we have that time. Also, I mean, that means all the creatures we may have to face. Yeah, yeah. who knows what else we're going to see out there. We'll lose all our resources. We might see Drogano himself. Hey, <laughs> Doc. Mm. Uh, uh, yes. Thought for you. Is it what? If you let me reduce it now, I might be able to enlarge it later and give you an even bigger, bigger tank. I, 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 if this works. I am so worried about uh. that. No, I want. <laughs> you said it's experimental, it's the first time, and we're like, this is it. This is what, this is what we got. This, we don't have an army of these things. No, I, I am nervous. <laughs> Aww. All right, this baby. Well. Yes, yes. Here's your child. I can reduce your child. Oh, how many times have you tried it? <laughs> None. <laughs> I don't know, Jacques. Are you comfortable driving it across? I'd rather just drive it across and hope for the best. <laughs> and then maybe, like, if things are looking bad, yeah, reduce it down. If, if I'm going to die, then do that. You should go first while right. it's still strongest. I can be standing by with the uh, reduce and then mending on the bridge. Yes, that is a good idea. I like that. So you think the tank should go first, Darkie? I think so. Maybe if we all travel over first, it might weaken it. We want it to be at its strongest when the tank's going over. And I can go over last, because if it does collapse, I could always just fly over or get damaged too how, much. How fast does the tank go? 30. So it'll go over slowly? <laughs> about, th about 30 miles per hour. You said it's but, you want, I don't think he'll be going over at 30, of course, but that's what it does. Right. If Smart can cast fly, can he do that on the tank? I can't cast fly, no. Just the suit. My suit can fly. I think the, ta oh. I think the tank is way too heavy for the suits. Mm. Right. I can't carry the tank over. If, if Jock doesn't want to do the magic on it, then it's either we go or we go around. Well... I can, cast, I can cast fly, but I don't think fly is going to work on a tank. No, me either. 
<sighs> I mean, how many suits do we have that can fly? I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I, can fly. I, can fly. I don't think mine does. I can fly, so we have two. What, what I about, think there's about two or three. What about something that can... That's not enough. It's, it's, not it's, fly, but like no. levitate. Levitate? I can levitate also, but it's a limit of 500 pounds. Not mm -hmm. And there it goes down. Okay, listen. I thought I was probably for uh, reduce and then maybe levitate. Mm. We, no. we, sh we should go around, but Jacques, <clears throat> you're the one taking the biggest risk. It's up to you. Can I, can I go study the bridge with my, you know, urban architect background? And, uh, yeah, it's, there's, nothing, it? there's nothing urban about the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just like architectural background. I could kind of see how I think it'll hold. Uh, okay. A little survey? You can take a look. It's got its country architect background. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's made of leather and steel. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll, uh. Just a small town country architect. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to build things from corn and straw. <laughs> and stalks of wheat. <laughs> Mighty husk. Am I adding anything to it? You're fine. You look at it. You think it's a little, little crumbly. Uh, you think that it's only going to fall on a one on a 1d20. So is it, is a, is a 95%, <laughs> is a 95% chance it's going to be fine. Or we lose Jacques. <laughs> or we lose Jacques. And Linda. And Linda. And Linda. Listen, we were twiddling oh. our we're twiddling our thumbs, and there's creatures here eventually, so let's go. Yeah. <sighs> All so right. Hopefully. All right, I so which way are we going? We send them over, we leave the hatch open, and the two of us would fly, be flying next to it. And then if they need to jump out because it starts to fall, we'll be able to catch them at least. That's and I'll good. be ready to do reduce, reduce and mend on the bridge if I can. Yeah. <laughs> Linda comes out. Did somebody just say that we're going across? That's dangerous. Linda, Linda get back inside. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay. They get, they get, they get back. <laughs> they get back into the, into the tank, and they start rolling across. So um, it is a quarter mile. I'm sorry, half mile going across. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight people, and I'm not gonna roll because if I roll a one and <sighs> k kill it, then I will just feel really bad. So, and I don't want that kind of pressure on me. <laughs> Who would want that pressure? Can we take a bet on who's gonna roll the one? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. So the, the tank starts rolling across, and you're gonna give me um, what? Man, this, is a lot of, this is a lot of tries. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of eight. Don't roll a one. Here we go. Rob, you're up first. If you roll a one, Rob, Rob, the tank falls. Does Rob need to? Cause, oh, okay. I got more stuff. 17. 17. Ooh. Dan, you're up. The tank continues across. Oh, my God. 12. <laughs> oh, man. Nine. It's doing good. Still going across. Uh, 18. <laughs> okay, Seth, you're up. Oh, gosh. 15. Oh, I thought you rolled the one. I don't already have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tom, you're up. Oh. Sounded heavy. That. Like the, it's not, yeah, that was a. That's a two. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Okay. Wow, what a bring up the drama. Oh. <laughs> okay, Evan, it's up to you. Oh, dude. It's your idea, man. No pressure. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Five. Oh. Yes. Five. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Wow. So the tank travels uh, the entire way. You guys are just waiting, I imagine? Or do you want to be walking? Yeah. You just wait. No. So you guys are just watching <laughs> it with bated breath, and you watch it get to the other side. It goes over there, and there's times where you see like the two and the low numbers where the rock's like, and it crumbles a bit, like just around the wheels, and the tank is just like rolling off precariously, and then it makes the other side. Uh, when he gets there, all of a sudden you hear this loud like, oh, no. 
and you you see all these creatures in the far distance coming in, probably about like miles away, just making their way across near you to you. You're not sure, <laughs> and uh, mm. you don't know if they were drawn by this tank going across loudly, or if it was something else, or if they're just coming by the area and it's coincidental. On our side or the other side? The other side. You guys can now make your way across. Um, everyone, everyone, roll um, a d20. Just did that. Mm. And <laughs> a d6 and a d4. If you roll ones and all threes, you fall. <laughs> Say what? again? What? Yeah. D20, D6, yeah. D4. Oh, okay. You have to roll three ones to fail. Roll them all at once. <laughs> yeah, that's how you should always do it. Would you say D20, D6, D4? We're looking for, looking for three yeah. ones. It's ridiculous. This should, should never happen. Tell me you did I it. Two fives up. No, you didn't. Get out! <gasps> I got two out of three. Oh, no! Oh. He, rolled a, he rolled a one and a D20 and a one and a D4. Wow. <laughs> Where's the other one? He didn't roll it yet. No, it's there. It's there. Oh, it's, it's there. Five. It's five. Oh, it's a five. What's oh, my a, God. What's <laughs> this guy doing? I saw the two, and wow. I was like, oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. It was like Hogarth, Hogarth death all over again. Yeah. I was like, what the? <laughs> wow. If it was just the, the D20, D4, it was exactly that. <laughs> yep. Wow, it can happen, ladies and gentlemen. You can. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> everybody <laughs> everybody <laughs> virtually, you all okay? <clears throat> And I flew over. Tom? I don't need to. Okay. Okay. Everyone's good. So you guys start making your way across. And uh, if you're flying, you're flying. If you're running <laughs> on the ground, uh, that's what you're doing. Uh, in the distance, you hear like these creatures coming up. Again, you don't know if it has something to do with you or something else. But you see them all starting to react. Okay? You guys are making your way across. I'm just going to point to you. Tell me if you're just making your way across or is there another action that you're doing. Okay? Six seconds. Um... I use my scope on my suit to see if I can get a better close-up look, if I can get some of their intentions. Okay, so you look through, and you see there are creatures flying. They look like some sort of, uh, like, demons, and but they're flying around a much larger demon that looks to be something like 50 feet tall, something ridiculous. <sighs> Six seconds. I, um, I open up my eight legs, and I walk like a spider. Okay. I keep moving across the bridge. Okay. I get my guns ready. Okay. If they're not coming in contact with us, I just keep moving across. Okay. Seth? Uh, I'm running across preparing a smoke grenade. And Evan? Uh, I'm standing by near the tank ready to cast invisibility on other tankers. Okay. Okay, you guys are making your way across, and again, you're seeing this huge, ridiculous thing on the other side, and it's it's a little bit scary. Uh, we're going to head over to Botorius, Findalar, and Abyssia. You guys at the two days are, are arriving uh, you've been going with um, Mortimer, who is now Sir Mortimer, a knight. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we're going to take it from like the hour before you land. And Mortimer's up top, uh, just like, kind of hanging out. And he's hanging out with the, uh, the other uh, the girl archer. And they're just talking, have a conversation. You can talk to them or not. It's up to you. Tom, Brooke, Damien, go ahead. Girl archer, what is your name? She go up to a girl archer. <laughs> She's always referred to. What is, what's your Be name? Female. <laughs> what call yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what say you say you are? She turns around and goes, oh, um, you could just call me CL. CL. Thank you. Happy to oblige. Okay. What do you, what do you hope to do here at Rhaegar? We hope to see if the they will fight with us. If we can speak to King Bellamon. I think they're definitely going to fight with you. The the gnomes have done nothing but prepare. Great. We understand that the uh, the King Bellamon and the people of Rhaegar have uh, have uh, prepared perhaps equipment or uh, items for us to uh, continue this battle, and we look to gain those those items that equipment. Before we move on to the next stage of our journey, which uh, we're still trying to figure out, whether it be uh, chase the rumors of that man in Raven's Claw that have escaped, or whether it be try and find some of our old colleagues and uh, see where they are and what we can do to undo some of this. Okay. And just to touch back, um, so when you guys left. Um, our light last time, and you spoke to Kelkin. Kelkin had some items for you. 
what he did was he gave you a chest, and in that chest, you imagine, is those items, and, the, and it's been shipped with the airship. Cool. It has not been opened yet. Um, Morty's looking looking ahead. He has like um, he has a, uh, a scope out, and um, he turns to you guys. Looks like we're all here. You know what to do. Wait. What? <laughs> we do, we do. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Do get we... your shit and get out. <laughs> just get your shit together. Uh, uh, we're about yeah. to disembark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All our shit together. Come on. I've been preparing you your whole lives. Come on. You're right, Mortimer. You're right, of course, Captain. Morty. Of course. You guys uh, <laughs> land, land in Rhaegar. <laughs> you land. And Rhaegar looks very, very different. Instead of that mountain that you saw the entire time just going up all the way to the top, now there are ports up the mountain in all various spots, and there are airships docked in it. And it looks like there's fleets of airships like crazy. Um, all different kinds of designs. Looks like every gnome did something different to it and whatever. Uh, you guys fly in. You guys land in one of the ports, and there is a sea of gnomes that is just waiting for you. And they see you, and they all like start looking. And when you your eyes meet their eyes, they start going... Oh my god! <laughs> it's like an NSYNC concert in, in the late oh, 90s. This is uh, quite the welcome. <laughs> wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, they, oh, start, they start uh, freaking out, and um, you guys land. Um, the, the gangplank goes down, and then you guys walk off, and the gnomes start coming out, and they're all coming up to you, and like, like you're back, you're welcome back, welcome back. You know, like they're, they're just so happy that you're here. Let's take that chest with us, too. Probably. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good idea. Yeah. Well, don't don't leave that on the boat. <laughs> Scrolls like I need my magic. <laughs> yeah. Mortimer says it's better we leave it here. Don't worry. We're, we're, uh, oh, okay. we're probably gonna be using the boat. Don't worry. You're fine. Alrighty. Okay. I don't want to give it to give you give you your chest in the middle of, of a thousand <laughs> gnomes. Well, you know, <laughs> we want to make sure we didn't leave anything behind. You know. Good thing, um, Bo. So you guys make your way through, and it's like a parade for you. It's 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 amazing because you know. Every day for you, you're finding out all this crazy stuff that happened. Dragano has come back, and um, you've returned. It's 22 years, and is a parade for you. It's just like it's a lot, all different different things. You make your way into the uh, throne room, which is the throne room with the, the huge clock on the wall and all the gears, and you see um, uh, all, all advisors there, and you hear an, a slightly older 22 years um, for King Bellaman, a slightly older gnomish king walking out. Yes, yes, I know, I know. He goes, yes, it's very big. It's very big, okay? Can we just move on? And he walks out, and he goes, and he's behind him, uh, follows Wizard. He's like, well, I'm just saying, like, my brain is very big, so that's, that's why, <laughs> yes. you know, it's been, you know, this is going to work. Is that just a plan yes. I can do? So I'm just trying to put it in perspective so that even everyone can understand. <gasps> yes, yes. Uh. Oh, wow. He sits down, he sits down in a chair, and you see uh, <laughs> Raphael is with him on the side. It seems to be some, like some sort of an advisor to the king. <clears throat> and you walk up. Everyone's like cheering and saluting and, you know, you know, getting their friends and saying, look who's here. And then finally, you make your way up all the way and um, you're standing right before King Bellman. Heather Barr gave a re-roll for the total 1,000 stars. Thank yes. you. Oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you, Heather. Heather. Everyone's preparing. They know that it's going to get it's crazy. It's coming. <laughs> We're not going to have our shit yeah. together soon. <laughs> yes, Taylor, it is Raphael. Very good. Taylor. I told you, get your shit Taylor. together. <laughs> um, we love you, Taylor. Okay, so uh, you guys are there. Role play. You agree. Yes, yes. Behind us, we uh, we have returned from uh, our journey through time here, and we were told we were told at our light that uh, it would be good to come to see you, that you had prepared some items or equipment for us in our attempt to try and undo what has been done. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, enough. Listen, we have waited 22 years for you to have returned, and we have much to do. So everyone did not want to go without you. So we waited and we prepared. So we have airships. We have gnomes that know how to fight and they are ready. <clears throat> we need heroes. So if you are going to lead it, that is what I want to hear. So here are the gnomes. These are my people. They are ready to hear that you are going to save us from Dragano. Because 
and he gets up off his throne and he walks right up to to you, Tom. And he, and he kind of <laughs> the guy goes like this to come down to his height. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Come closer. Lower. <laughs> Findlar, you told me that you are a collector's champion. And that is why we have waited. There are no other collector's champions except for one. But you are the second one. You will lead the yeah. armies. Yes? If that is your wish, your highness. Yes, it's my wish. <laughs> <laughs> now, turn around and give, give a great speech, and we will go fight. <laughs> fight. Your highness. Fight who? This is Where? most, most impressive. Oh. Yeah. All the enemies of Dragano! <laughs> I'm tired <Everyone>. of waiting! <laughs> Make your speech. Yes, yes, we, we understand. He goes back to his throne and sits down. <laughs> now a speech. <laughs> Man, he really wants you like right to it, huh? Like, <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do this. Um, is there a spot where I could speechify from? Yeah. <laughs> speechify. I go to the spot. R Rob's like yes. chomping at the bit right now. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm so <laughs> jealous. I'm like, this Rob's like, this is my <laughs> job. Rob's like, uh, this is uh, my I wanna, job. Uh, maybe, maybe I could be there. Uh, <laughs> Rob wants to whisper in your ear. Is it getting oh, hot in here? Maybe I could make speech. So. <laughs> <laughs> he just smelled like Tim's. I want this city too. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will stand nearby <laughs> Findelar in support. Okay. Yes. Me too. Stand we right stand, by you. Stand right by you with support. Thank yes. You. And I'm on the I'm on the other side of Fin. Yes. All right. I uh I raise a hand up until the crowd begins to silence. They quiet down for you. They're all very excited. Gnomes of Rhaegar. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Findelar Lotta. I I'm one of the heroes of Andaria. 22 years ago, myself and my colleagues, Votorius and Abyssia, were sent to the future, to this moment, in order to save Andaria. We believe that is not only why we are here, but why you are here. The forces of Dragano and Darkness over these last 22 years have tried their hardest to destroy this world, but they have been unable to do so. We are going to defeat them. Your might, your intellect, your technology, your power will lead the way for this world to fight back. If you all will have us, myself, Abyssia, and Botorius would fight by your side. Will you have us? Will you fight Drogano? Yeah! 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 We will! Woo! General Finn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no military training whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> Very good! <laughs> <laughs> Very All good. Right, Relater Finn. <laughs> okay. This is plan. First. We will go down to all the cities that fell into the fire that we could not reach. And all the heroes, each of you will go to those cities and rescue whoever you can rescue. After that, you will return and all of our forces will be paired. We will launch an invasion upon Goblin City. Why do I not feel like some of you are with me? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of weird looks. Well, so this whole we're uh, considering it. Okay, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're, his count, you're his counsel. Go ahead. Wait, who? What? Who's his counselor? You're, you're, you're his advisors that are around him. Go ahead. Oh, or the king. Yeah, the king. Oh, you're, okay. you're the advisors around the king. Okay. Okay. Uh, as it, this goes for Seth, Evan, and uh, Tom as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Tom, because you're Tom. <laughs> Uh, I think you should let Findelar go by itself. No, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, uh, you want you want them to fly down uh, into uh, with an airship down into the fire, sir? Down way down there, with, with, with an airship ship made of air flying through the air into the fire. Uh, that, that you want yes, to... water boy, you will go down there <laughs> and you will rescue whoever you can rescue. <laughs> 
Uh, These uh, people uh, have been uh, left to die. So, uh, okay, I've yeah, so, seen the mad one plus two. It, uh, okay, so. I didn't get a word of that gibberish. <laughs> I'm doing mad. Want them so. to go by themselves, or are we sending anybody with them? Or they will go what with a, a small fleet of airships. Mm. We have talked we about this plan about for a long, Party. long time. <laughs> He's made a good point there. You see, uh, there's fire and airships and fire and they. Uh, I hate when burn. you talk. Uh, well, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Would you? Can, shall, shall I write it down? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> your, your, your Highness. Yes. Uh, what? I uh, pardon my interruption, but as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, we have just returned, and we do not know exactly what you're talking about. What cities have fallen in, into fire? Have they fallen down into the abyss? All, all of these, no, they're not falling into fire like below. They are surrounded by fire, and the people had nowhere to go, and they are left to die. So we will save them first. We cannot yes. defeat Dragano with just us gnomes. That we need it. We need an army. That sounds most wise. Yes, I am yeah, wise. And, it's, and merciful as well. I, yes, I, I am merciful. What other um, problems with this plan do you have? We have talked about it for so long. Well, we weren't here for that. I, we, you've been here it. the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> so, 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 which, 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 which cities do you want us to go to first? Low Hills. Low Hills. The Dwarven City. Yes. Mm. Are then you planning you... on splitting the forces there? <laughs> um. Maybe I haven't decided. Uh, uh, I didn't really write anything down there. I was it just, doesn't uh, say anything. No, I was just, uh, <laughs> You're wasting <laughs> my you're time. To, um, you're supposed to write something up. <laughs> you want me to tell you what it says? Yes, yes, yes. Go yes, ahead. Yes, 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 Give yes, it to me. Yes. Give it to me. <laughs> you're useless. Guys, <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, think you're <laughs> 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 How how long of a journey is it to uh, to Low Hills from here? How lo how quickly can the airships travel? Fast days. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> uh, how many people are expected to evacuate? Uh, from the airships to evacuate them quickly. We will we will fill the ships. That's why about three ships per city. So, I, what I was actually thinking is that we would separate the heroes because they know you and they know that you won't be working for Dracado. So, if they see the heroes on the ship, they'll have some hope. No, I don't think we should split up. I... We should stay together. I agree. Oh, really? That's right. That's what yeah. you think? Yes. Well, when you're the king of an entire nation, then maybe you can come up with a plan. <laughs> we won't fly any other way. <laughs> You won't uh, fly? I was gonna interject. <laughs> your Highness, so you, please, you wanna please, please. make Finn the leader, but you're not giving him much of a chance to lead. I, s I say that, Your Majesty. Pardon me, with but all I say respect. that with all due respect. Of course. I say that, with all uh, due respect. Yes. These people are dying every day. Well, and you not... want to tell them, sorry, wait another week. We're not going to not go there. But what we have found is when we're apart. Things can sometimes very less effective. Yes, that is it. What my colleagues are trying to say, Your Highness, is that we believe the reason that we were sent together here to this future means that we have to act together now. And we are afraid that if we split up, that something bad will befall us. Fine. Uh, Fine. <laughs> go. Go together. <laughs> You've waited 22 what, years. What I'm saying, Your Highness, is that I don't want to split this quest up into seven different sessions. <laughs> yes! I hear you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. you to save everyone before 2021? That's a bold strategy. Goals. That's a bold strategy. <laughs> okay. That's very bold. Great. He will not be able to see the It's a bold strategy, Cox. <laughs> <laughs> With the blindfold down, he will not be able to see. <laughs> okay. If you have any other any problems or questions about this plan, it was made by Raphael, who is very smart, uh... and he predicted the exact moment that you were going to arrive. He's calculated it all, and he figured it all out. 
But no, you just got here and you have your own plan. So ignore what he says. Raphael is Talk right. to him and then go. Let's do it. All right. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> He's probably oh my, my God. favorite royal. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, includes, that includes Arky as the mayor. No, I'm <laughs> oh, that's low blow. <laughs> Raphael comes up to you guys. Everyone's like kind of intermingling now. And he's like, oh, hey, what's up, guys? It's, it's like great to have you back. You know, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I can only figure out like so much. I figured out like a tremendous amount of stuff about when you guys get here. But, you know, like there comes a time where like you eventually need to have somebody helping you, even though 22 years is, you know, I can pretty much control and, you know, ran everything pretty well to keep us alive. But like, you know, you know, help is always like, you know, appreciated. So, you know, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Very good to Thank see you. Thank you. Thank you, Raphael. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm happy that you're alive. Yeah, I, I've been doing very well. We did a lot of stuff here. We've made like a lot of cool technology stuff here. I've been been involved, so uh, you know, you know, it's like you know, thank God for me. <laughs> I mean, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, you, you guys ready to go? Uh, um, Finn, <laughs> are we ready to go yet? <laughs> um, yes, I suppose so. Raphael. Again, I don't mean to lay a point, but I just want to make sure that. We understand everything that's happening because we don't, and we want to make sure if there's anything that we should uh, know or have <clears throat> before we leave that we get it. So, low hills, uh, surrounded by monsters, surrounded by demons, that sort of a thing. Oh yeah, like it's like everywhere is like surrounded by demons. Like if basically, if there's like fiery mist there, there's like definitely demons there. And if there's not fiery mist there, then like there might be demons there. Um, it's basically all sorts of things. It's like uh, humanoids and humans and dwarves and all the different things are possessed. But it's also like the demons that you might think of when you think of like hellish creatures. So it's like you know, it's 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 pretty scary. You know, not for me because I'm not really this scared. But like, I imagine <laughs> someone else might be scared, like you guys. Do the airships have any defense <laughs> against the fire that is surrounding these places? So, actually, it's a very good question. It's a question I might ask because it's a very smart question. So, so basically, like, <laughs> when, we, when we go on the airships, I've actually uh, devised something that allows me to extend my magical force to extend and, and actually around the ship and protect it. So, uh, I'll be doing that with the two other gnomish wizards. So, uh, yeah, it's a great, mm. it's a great question. It's a great idea. I'm glad I thought of it a long time ago. Yeah, that is most impressive. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yes. You'll be flying with us right I... now. <laughs> yeah, it's just that same thing. So you'll be coming with us. <laughs> I'll be on your ship, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, all right. But Finn's in charge. Hey, Tony, right? are, there, are any of the uh, other fan characters in the city that would approach and help the party? Um, there is a fan character here. I think it's it would be Liv Mora would be there. No, wait, Liv Mora. I think also chose to be. Who who was it? I can't remember who. Tony. Mister. Oh, Oni's here. You oh, saying? Oni. Who is Oni it? is Liv Mora, I think. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask the question. Who? Oh, it was a Lauren. Lauren. Um... I thought it was Lauren that was here. L thought... Who went to oh, Ariel yeah. Ballet? Sure. Who did that? In, in one of the fan characters. I think that was Lauren. <laughs> yeah. That was Lauren. Like Lauren. Yeah. And who's Lauren's character? I'm, I'm getting confused. Serenfora, is that right? So that, that's her name in, uh, in in Twitch. Oh. Yeah. So I th so Shiva. it's Shiva. Shiva. Uh, yes. Shiva. So I think Shiva went to Queensland. Livmore is here, and then the 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 exchange, which we'll talk about. If other people don't are not gonna know what I'm talking about right now, but we'll, that'll come shortly. Yes. But um, yeah, Livmore could be here. So if Livmore wants to be on these ships, um, then Livmore can. Okay, so cool. You guys make your way to you rest, you eat, you get ready to go to the ships. We're gonna leave you right sure. there. We're gonna go over underneath the, to Dunehammer, where um, Vinny and Seth are traveling. Derek Luxon says, Seven Four is not Lauren. It is Shiva. Right, yeah. Okay, says Kadian. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting my names confused. Yeah, especially because it's Twitch and Facebook, so yeah, it's hard to keep track thing. of... It's three It's three names, one person, and, and then it's confusing. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Sybil. Kuzra and Thistle, you guys have been traveling for two days, trying to stay unnoticed. <clears throat> um... Finally, after, after these two days, you guys get to like a clearing of rocks, which you just rested at, and you've gathered everything up. And you know this next area going forward to what appears to be this um, this uh, vault in this mountain is going to be the most dangerous. You constantly see these creatures, these giants, also these like dinosaur-looking creatures as well, uh, just all around the area. Uh, but you see these titans that I mentioned last time. 
And the Titans are basically just sitting down doing nothing, or they're walking around, or they're, they're picking up looking for food, and it's just crazy. You can barely even see the, the, the tallest parts of their bodies. Um, so they're around this area. The Seer gets up, and we're going to roleplay from there. This is you, Arnor, Kuzra, Kilayo, and the Seer. I just have a couple of quick questions. All right, so the, the area that we are in, it's actually underground, correct? Like everything, we're in the underground, and so it's like this whole big yes. area is underground. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Hammer. Okay. Who's right? You can hear me, right? Um, okay. The area that we're in, like this, this, do we know that these are evil creatures, or are they just, like, are they Draganos people? Like, are they Draganos forces? Do we know, have anything, any insight into that? You don't know these. You have no idea these creatures are working for Dragano, or if they're just creatures. You, if you had to take a guess, you think they're just ancient creatures that <clears throat> have been here always. Okay. Do we have any insight as to which one of the Celestials may have created the Titans? Um, you don't know. I don't, uh, know, if I don't know if you're asking somebody in the I, group. But at that point, I'll like. If I don't know, I will ask the Seer. Okay. So go ahead. Um, uh, Seer. Any any idea which one of the Celestials um, created the Titans? I would have to say it would be the Archmage. Hmm. The Archmage took the form, the five-star form of the humanoids, and he <clears throat> used it for many different things. Interesting. All right. So they're not inherently evil, necessarily. Okay. It's just a piece of information that might be useful later on. We should be careful and be quiet. I I totally agree. You guys begin to make your way there. Um, we're going to make this a little bit harder. So give me a one and a two. Everybody, don't give me a one or a two on a 1d20 roll. And this is for, um, for you, for Seth. And I will roll for the Seer and Arnor and Kilayo. And I rolled a six. one right off the bat. Oh, Excellent. no. Oh, and it's sweaty. How are we feel? And a one. <laughs> oh uh, my! That's... I rolled. A... We mean, look at it, it's gonna fall. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one, a twenty, and a one. Jeez. Wow. That's incredible. Would you say? I'm, I'm sorry. Who just talked? I didn't hear. You. I didn't hear. You. I think Tom said, "How are we looking on rerolls?" Oh, f uh, you guys have. I think you have everything activated because I think we we beat it. Let me make sure, but I think we beat it. How about our shares? So right now, yeah. shares are 76 shares. We just oh, made it. Woo -hoo. And, woo -hoo. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Guys, give us emojis. Give us likes. If you haven't liked the stream right now, please like it. and Give it an emoji. It really helps us a lot. And we do have... Uh, and, oh, sorry. And uh, we have 54 uh, likes in there right now, which means that uh, you guys have a plus two competence bonus to everything that you do. Mm -hmm. yes. So, yes, thank you, everybody. And we do have 14 rerolls. For nice. yeah. 14, 14 rerolls. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you guys are making your way through. Um, I rolled the one, then I rolled another one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we're gonna have to use some of those rerolls. <laughs> so as you guys, oh, you want to use it now? You want to negate the ones? Um, actually, wait. Do we still have the one that? The, no, Dan used that one, right? The one that was against Tony. The anti yes. The do we have? Yeah, do we have any more of those do left? We, the, well, we Ren two. donated two. Uh, Ren donated two last week. Yeah, I two used, against I just rerolls. No, oh, against rerolls for against you. you. Yeah, oh, for you, you uh, I think well, either way, it's a reroll. It does it, right, way, right. Well, if you want to, if you want to remove the ones, you could do with those two. That's your choice. Well, that's your choice, really. I mean, I could do, I could do it with the regular rerolls too, right? Uh, uh, no, you can't use them no, against that's me. That's supposed to be oh, yeah. player. I, they're special because of the X for that. Oh, I got you. Six I, seconds. I used, Six. I used one last week. Also, don't forget. You said you got two more. No, it was two, oh, okay. two wasn't it? Right. Well, we had one going into last week. Oh, And then sorry. Ren okay. bought two more. You got it. Against oh, us. okay. But those, you know, those are the only ones that could be made to use uh, Tony to be made to right. re-roll. Okay. Anybody opposed to me using them? Anybody? No? Not really. I'm going to reuse them. Okay, here we go. Here's a re-roll. I'm going to roll in front of Rob because he's going to watch me roll anyway. Ah. Success. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh. the end game. <laughs> Welcome uh. to the end game. Thank you, Ren. <laughs> yep, yeah, Ren, you just affected the Ren. game. Very good. Okay, so um, the Titans, everything you don't see, you guys make your journey. Uh, it's a little scary. You do see some small creatures, 
but you kind of get the feeling that any small creatures are trying to hide and not do anything else. Not be eaten by the Titans? Yes. Like us? So you just, you just avoided a huge huge plot thing where I get to play a Titan check to come next to you. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little happy for you. More disappointed. You guys make your way to these large 50-foot uh, doors with the, the bars of iron uh, across them. Does anyone have a way to get inside? I have some magical things, but perhaps some skill could be used first. I look up at the, uh, like, is there any levers or anything like that? Any type of... No any, levers any, that you see. Nothing that I could use to, like, you know, I guess pull the iron... Uh, the, is it wood that's going across, or is it no, an iron bar? iron. It's an iron bar. But there are wooden doors. Ren sends another, another uh, re-roll. So this is just a regular yes. re-roll, looks like. Thank you. Thank you, Ren. Thank you, Ren. Tony, oh, Tony re-roll is calling us. Okay, so it's against me. <laughs> Thank you, Ren. The fins are against me. <laughs> a re-roni. So, um... What'd you say? Did you ask me a question? A re-roni. A re-roni. <laughs> a re-roni. <laughs> Continuing <laughs> on. <laughs> Did you do it for a re-roll? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> about a... What about a re What about a re Ren? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I can do, like, Dimension Door, you know? Um, that's not a bad idea. But what if we need to get out? We're gonna need to get out, right? So, we're we're gonna. I would like to try to save as much magic as possible because I don't know what we're gonna get into once we're inside. We might get into the belly of a giant. It's a very good possibility. <laughs> um, Let us avoid that. <clears throat> all right. The how I big is the bar? Wow. Is, oh. How big is the bar itself? <laughs> the bars? The bars, yeah. Oh, they're huge and heavy. Okay. Um, all right. Yep. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, uh, I was I was wondering if it was like something like Arnor could like try to. Like, no. Okay, that's that's no. that's why I'm asking. Huge, bars. huge doors with really little bars. Bribery, These little bars. Yeah, just, <laughs> Scott <laughs> Weber, bribery to remind Tony that Hogar still has a rage no. <laughs> from from over 22 years ago from the Patreon, and Sparky has four re rolls, oh, and also God. to remind Tony that I was trying to bribe Vinny's gnome to do the robot. We let him know, but Vinny did not do it. No. Can we? Uh, Nash, can you remind us of the stats on that rage? I think. I think. Thank you. Um, oh, is the rage from the website? Uh, Todd has that. Todd has that on the page. Okay. Okay. Well, Todd, if you have it, let us know. And Scott, if you have it, let us know. Otherwise, it's probably the one on the. Thank Oops. you, Scott. We can go back to the records. Um. So yeah. Yes, so the bar. Who are? Guys, I look around to. Uh, I look around. Well, maybe what? that could help us get one of those bars up. What was it? I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear what you said. I can do levitate. Um, if, if you think that'll work. You think you think le levitate is not going to be effective? It's way too heavy for a levitate. Okay. Um. Hmm. What about? Scott said it is to, to the website, so we have I it on file. It will. Can I find like a magical button, like a little magical door somewhere around the base? I. You're, so you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to see there's a magical door near the larger door? You can see Matt. Or, can or detect like magic. a button or a lever or something that... Okay, give me an investigation would... check. Yeah, okay. Is it, a, is it a spell that you're using it to do it, or is it... I have detect magic at will. Oh, it's a... Okay. Warlock things. Um, or you so detect the magic. So okay. I get a plus two, right? Yes. Because it cares. So yeah. I got 20. 20, very nice. Okay. With the 20, you look around, and you do find that there is a magical door hidden on the side to allow people to pass in that may be otherwise not a giant or a dumb creature. All right, dude. Mm. <laughs> There's, like, a little door that's hidden. You hear? Bing, ding, 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 ding. Um, where, where, where is it? I'm not seeing it. It's off to the side, maybe, like, 25 feet off of the door. All right, so I, I walk over and I start like searching for it. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I'll like go and like gesture to it. I can find. I have the Dude. secret doors thing, but I don't think it's for magic. It's show like, us, the, show like us the gesture that you do. Like the door is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> can you see it? I saw it. It was wonderful. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it again too. Uh, so he goes over, he does a gesture to it. You see the door go, and like light up. And the seer walks over, he goes, ah, oh, 
Very good. Very wise. So Satyrs. I, I, very good. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 you like get each other like at like a spiritual level. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> I get you spiritually. <laughs> Let me assist here. He puts his hand on a door, and you see the sides of the door go <laughs> like burn through, and the door finally goes <laughs> moves to the side. I look around to see if I can buy. Uh, it's loud for you, okay. but for them, it's just I'm like... I'm just being precautious. The Titans are just like... <laughs> <laughs> Ant make noise. <laughs> Be hungry. <laughs> Ants do things. So uh, 1,000 stars from Derek Luxton. Yay, I can send stars now. Nice. Here's a re-roll against Tony. Yeah. Thank you, Seriously? Yay, I can send stars <laughs> now. <laughs> Here's a roll to screw over Tony. Yeah. I like right. it. Can't wait till I get the ability to use stars so I can... <laughs> Ruin his day. Messing One more with the DM. Reroni. <laughs> One Re-ronies. more. Reroni. Reroni. Let's, let's, let's make that not stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's catching on. It's catching it is up. catching fire. We can put so that on a T-shirt. Yeah. Reroni. Reroni. Take it, Reroni pie. Reroni. Um, okay, so you guys uh, walk inside. You walk into the other side of the door. The magical door closes behind you. When you see it reseal up to the stone. Well, that worked. We are inside. Is there any light source in here, or is it? I will make the light source. You see, like a ball up here. It's like the size of a beach ball. It goes, goes around. Brooke is only a pure, picturing a beach ball right now. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that. Just like a colorful beach ball. Right? It's like a disco ball. <laughs> with pack. Well, you can't tell really by the way I do. Like foreground. He's like very much holding back. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says hashtag Reroni. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Elizabeth. You are the best. I can't wait to go home <laughs> and put that in just to see like what type of random stuff comes up for that. <laughs> oh, what awesome. Google? Yeah, yeah, well, anywhere. <laughs> Twitter. Reroni. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> oh God, source. I have no idea. Um, okay, so you guys um, start walking around. He has the light going around the room, kind of reveal what the room is entailed, and uh, it looks like the room is all this um, primitive. Uh, mountain face, but there is a path. Uh, immediately, the path goes into uh, a, a sigil of the, um, the Dwarven King, and you see path that past that is uh, it goes on to another door that is humanoid sized. Um, is it is it reminiscent of the Collector's sigil? It is reminiscent of that. Yes, it feels basically the same. Okay, so I turn to I turn to the seer. I'm like. Well, in my past experiences with the Collector's Dungeons, um, you've had to put light to the sigil, and it would open up the doors at the end of the hall. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be similar because this is a Dwarven King, and I kind of like look to Arnor for some sort of... or well, actually, Kilisle too, for some sort of... Uh, I have not heard of, of um, any dungeons with the sigil. Of the Dwarven King, but try it. Um, the ball that he's got floating. Is it fire? Is it just magic light? It's magic light. Okay. Uh, well, that's going to be how to use torches. Well, bonfire. Say again? I'm sorry? I'll create a bonfire. No, uh, I don't think we need a fire that big. Small fires work. Torches the Can last you time. you cr- create a small fire, Kuzra? It's, it says it fills a five-foot cube. That is fine. I think bonfire, like... <laughs> it's been cold down well, here. I mean, man, I can make it a bonfire if we need it, like on the beach, you know? <laughs> focus, Kuzra, <laughs> focus. focus. Well, we got the beach ball, now we got the bonfire. Yeah, Kuzra, yeah. we are not on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the hacky but, sack? You <laughs> have a little bonfire. Really, it's just the bonfire you have in your heart, you know? It's a baby bonfire. Wow, that is deep. All right, That's um... Good. Work the shot. Let's see what it does. Okay, you do the uh, bonfire fire in the five foot cube. Uh, bribery from Scott Weber. Bribery for Vinny's challenge to somehow involve doing the robot. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. But like, it's so I really need some like inspiration. For- <laughs> 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 we should do a dance. A fire dance or something. <laughs> I will do a fire dance, and then you follow. My fire dance is different than my robot. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I do the robot. Do you do it the same way? <laughs> <laughs> a 
it's, it's just like how all robots, I imagine, move. Oh, unfortunately, also, yes. what's a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Or is this perhaps a probot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not liking that word. It's it's very medically sound. It's like very medical sounding. All right. <laughs> Maybe you should no redefine it by by showing us what it really is. Mm. I'm just. I'm just mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Remind me of Damien's room. Mm. <laughs> you see a you see a ship with the name Blackwater. That was on the it. best. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I keep going. If I remember I things, this might mean something. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my daughter? Oh, my Liam. daughter? <laughs> Abyssia Blackwater? <laughs> it's like, nope. No, nope, it doesn't <laughs> ring a bell. He's it's tricking like, me. It's He's like Close Encounters at Third Kind with like the, the mashed potatoes. This means something. <laughs> <laughs> He's forming the mountain. <laughs> what you call the Blackwater Bandits? Yep, oh yep, that's God. the name. <laughs> but, but everybody uh, knows that. Oh, yep. This guy okay. is it special. Wish I could help. Wish anyway, <laughs> all right, bonfire. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, you do the bonfire. Oh, the man. sigil lights up. <laughs> lights up on fire. You see it just brilliantly lit. And you see the doors open. Very good. You avoided a trap. Yes. Good. good to know. Very good. Let us go inside. And I walk first. <laughs> How hot is the word probot? Well, very or extremely. <laughs> this is what Percival wants to ask you and wants to know what you think. I'm going to choose something. It sounds like a, I'm telling you, it sounds like a bad medical term. <laughs> probot? We're going to have to give you a probot, sir. Probot? Invite the probot to the party. It could be like a condition, too. We're having a song on our way to the song. Is there going to be a probot? Johnny, the test came back in. So we're gonna have to send it. <laughs> <laughs> Protobots Please bend over. Roll out. <laughs> okay, uh, oh we're gonna hold off God. right there. We're gonna go back to Holgar. We finally made a round. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How long was that? Two hours? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you want to split the party even more? Relax. You don't even know how it goes so fast. You don't even know. Um, you guys we're are so, you guys like are so worried week. about things. <laughs> Well, has anything gone wrong in this quest? Things. Just every time so you are sitting in, in your uh, your room. Arella walks in. It's probably about <clears throat> two hours after the meeting, and she, and she knocks on the door, and she kind of says, oh, Hogar, are you in there? Yes. Can I come in? Yes. She comes in. She sits down. She makes herself some, some, has some of your wine. I'm worried. I don't know what she's going to have you do. I don't know either. Do you think she knows? Knows what? She thinks she knows that you're bound to the Archmage. Or that you... Or our plan. I don't know. I've been in her council for a long time. She never speaks to anyone. Yet she called for you. I... I have no way of knowing. But I do believe her. I don't think she can read me. I hope so. If she does... It's death for all of us. Yep. Well, we gave it a good shot. <clears throat> yes, well, I hope to be more effective than what we've done in the last years together. Have you found anything else out? <laughs> Nothing that, that can help us. Um, she has guards around at all times. Um, some have magic, like myself. Um, she has paladins of sorts. Uh, and she does what she pleases. She's uh, she's a being that I cannot fully comprehend. I can see her physically. And that is the only thing I can say that is truthful. To say that she's weak or strong or there's a time to strike at her. Or if it's even possible, I cannot say. Hmm. Does she have any kind of active magic protecting her at all times? Beyond the power that she possesses, I don't think so. I guess I could say uh, I, I believe not. I, mean, I don't think she would need it. She wouldn't need it. If I would imagine her power for a second, which is high above a mortal's thinking, mm. I would imagine that if you were to try to do this, to try to kill her, it would happen. It would have to happen on the perfect fraction of a moment. 
and I think that would be nearly impossible to execute. <clears throat> Then I guess we'll need some more information. I suppose so. I believe your fight is for tomorrow morning. So, and you're allowed to bring, from what I heard, all of your belongings here. You will not have to use the Kopesh anymore. Whatever you're fighting tomorrow is something great, I suppose. Let me ask you this. How long <clears throat> do you think it may take us to figure out a plan to kill her? I can't say. I, we need to find something that makes a difference. And, okay. and who's to say how long it takes to find that something? I, I can keep looking, that's it. I, I agree with you. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. We, this, should, we shouldn't rush it. This might take years. It's already taken years. Hmm. I will take that time to get as close to her as I possibly can. Okay. I will see you hopefully after where you are alive and well. Yeah. I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. She leaves. Um, what do you do for the rest of the night? Rest up. Eat. Make sure my weapons are all in order. Shield, armor. Make sure everything's ready to go. Okay. You rest up uh, in the night. And um, morning time comes. And the roar of the arena awaits you. <laughs> We have bribery from Scott Weber again to remind Tony that I bribed top make I bribed top make re-roni stick. Oh, okay, no, thank you. <laughs> because, because it's not like tight not like trying to make fetch happen. It is definitely going to happen. <laughs> sure. If you can make re-roni stick, then kudos to you. Um Mark Shank says they need to find the Queen's crystal. So yep. that's a good idea. Richard Wilde says, can Hogar contact the Archmage? <clears throat> okay, so um, you make your way in, into the arena. And, oh, my uh, oh, my God. I like when everyone gets nervous. Can't wait yes. to, I really can't wait to see who it is. <sighs> this one's going to be a doozy. I'm sure it is. Oh, no. Uh, you make your way into the arena, and you walk out onto the, uh, the sand, and everyone <sighs> shouts Hogar. Let's go around. Let's get some. Let's get some individualized. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, including including Seth, Tom, and Evan. I'm gonna I'm gonna point to everybody around and give me the best one call out from a guy. Whoever uh, does what the best, chosen by Dan, gets 25 free experience points. And we're gonna start with Rob. Oh god, go get him, oh god, you the man. Damien. Smash him to pieces, Ogar! Pieces! Brooke. H to the Ogar! What'd you say? H to the Ogar? H to the Ogar. I thought you said something completely Not different. What I heard. Not what I heard. What? <laughs> I have no idea what your dirty minds could have Vince's been. Vince about to scream Probot. Probot! I think Probot's coming out the gate. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you say? <laughs> Take him out, Holger! Take him out! Evan. Rip his freaking head off! <laughs> nice. Tom. Make them all puke. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Seth. Crush their skulls, Holger! Dan, now select Ooh. your favorite one. Uh, I liked, um... I know Tom's. I like, like, let them all puke. Let them all puke. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. 25 experience like points. Twofer. I think you got me two weeks in a row on that, so I'm going to take that as a big Oh, oh wow. wow. Awesome. All right. <laughs> I wish I was Tom. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I have a knack for cheering on murder, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that, thank you, thank you. Mark Shank said Progar. <laughs> Brogar. Oh, yeah. Brogar. That's, what, that's when the two of you like combined to form Brogar. <laughs> when he's on his back. <laughs> Progar of the Hill People. Uh, <laughs> Progar of the Hill People. 
Okay, so um, okay, so you uh, walk out into, into the arena. Everyone's shouting your name. They're throwing uh, roses, all sorts of things. You see the queen finally sits down. She has on uh, an elaborate outfit uh, that has uh, wings and robots sticking out of it. And um, <laughs> she sits down. Everyone cheers the queen. They chant for her, things like that. Um, you also, at this time, as you're about to look away, you see another figure um, goes next to her and sits down, and it's uh, some sort of knight wearing this like black armor, and this knight <laughs> sits down. You feel like someone described to you the characteristic of this knight a long time ago, and, you, and it, that's that's like the idea you get for a flash, and then it's gone. And you're like, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> you stand out in the field, <laughs> and you wait, looking around for what is ever going to come out of those gates. I wrote that in the the centaur's dad. <laughs> he like well, I got the centaur. <laughs> five, five half giants. Five half giants. What is left? What? Is, there's nothing else. Centaur's dad. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Centaur, centaur brother. <laughs> uh, finally, the gates open. Audio dungeon. <gasps> and you oh see, walk God. out, no. or I kind of like pushed out, oh. is some mm. sort of knight. In red armor, and he has I'm, the full shield down. He he's got the helmet down, everything else, and he walks out, looks behind him. You just see this direction; you can't see what it is, and just walks out, looks over your direction, looks at all the people, and starts making his way, or her way, out towards you in the center of the field. And we're gonna hold up right there. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Well, no patrol. <laughs> no patrol. No patrol. No patrol. No patrol. Yeah. That's how you switch. That's how you switch your mood. <laughs> no patrol. You are uh, on the patrol and you're a gnome. So you guys are seeing these demons come closer and um, into your direction. You're not sure if they're going towards you or not, but you guys are making your way hastily over to the other side. Uh, you're now going to roll. Everybody roll uh, all at the same time. If anyone rolls a one. These demons and such go for you, and instantly you're gonna have an epic boss battle of the likes you've never seen right now. And I'm just leaving it up to chance because I have no idea except their stats, and it's so dangerous. But I feel like it should be possible. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 14. Go ahead. Dan. 10. 19. Damien. 19. Brooke. 5. Vin. 3. Ooh. Tom. Oh my God. We lost Tom. That's the last time we saw Tom Kikosi. <laughs> Eight. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Seth. Got a six. Evan. Seventeen. <laughs> something <laughs> something about that space. I cringe. Something about that space <laughs> made me think it was a one. I think a little piece of me died right there. So you guys get there, and you're one. all sitting there, and you see all, all the gnomes like power up to things. Like, get ready to attack. Yeah. You see the, the tank goes up. Is that how I do it? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you're all just sitting there, just waiting. <laughs> and you, the only thing you hear in the next few minutes oh, is the howl of wind. Which you will not hear now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come on. It's going to be like... <gasps> <laughs> 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 all right, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> yes. Instead, you will see the color red. <laughs> S- same thing. It is so similar. So it is red outside. So red like is happening. Okay. And then you hear that wind. Let me press that button. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't DM to do both, though. <laughs> <laughs> Audio dungeon. One thing at a time. <laughs> You guys wait, and it's, it's that quiet. Time. You're literally just, just waiting, and you see this huge creature. <laughs> looks like a giant demon. The <laughs> <laughs> Balrog. <laughs> Where is no patrol? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm like, well, he's heard of us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Popular already. So I'm, a, I'm a big <laughs> fan. <laughs> Maybe Sign my time. toenail. You must be looking at <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So you see, you see they, they make their way by and they just keep walking and you're all like 
Okay. Just so you know, if you face this creature, it has 1,000 hit points, okay? Just, just <laughs> put it out there. And your, your tank does one damage. It's, yeah. <laughs> Ping! <laughs> you guys continue your way on Gnome Patrol. Uh, you guys are a far way off of the, uh, the Red City, of Goblin City. Uh, but you guys make your way, and you're finding that you're just going through the desert now. It's more desert than barren land. And uh, you are seeing creatures in the distance, and you do come across creatures that you believe that you're going to have to fight. So, um... Finally, it gets to the point where you see these creatures are flying through the air. There are smaller demons, and you see there's like the red salamander humanoid creatures below them just walking. They're either hunting on a, on a patrol or doing whatever, you're not sure. Uh, but they are pretty much seeing you guys. They know something's out there. You guys stick out like a sore thumb, and uh, you have one pre round to react before they mobilize in any sort of fashion. You can role play. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, just start lighting them up now. With pleasure. <laughs> I think we need to take some calmness with the tank. It might just, you know, attract that giant demon that went by if it's too loud. This guy How much is time smart. has passed since we saw that creature? Oh, probably about probably like two hours, we'll say. Two hours. Mm. Yeah, some time has passed. Ow. I mean, I think if we, like, I'm not saying we don't use the tank. I'm just saying the tank should be the last one. We're going on quick. Six seconds from here. Six. I'm still on my... Oh, well, I, I use... To, to got my spider legs. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Uh, spider legs. Prepare for battle. Do I have a weapon in the buster suit, or is it just... You have a sword. You have a huge sword. I have a sword? Okay, I'll take out the sword. Okay. Got my guns. Got my gun. <laughs> I get the machine charged up, I guess. Okay, Volt, what are you doing? I've got my rifle out, and I'm standing on top of it. Okay, and uh, Camo Gnome, what do you got, Seth? Uh, I guess I'll go stealth mode and try to sneak up behind one of them. Okay, so you you uh, turn you turn to a suit the color of sand, and you look very very uh, much cool. invisible. Um, Salamanders start making their way up. It's probably about twenty or something, twenty two, twenty five, twenty seven. A bunch of just running in. If they want to take the round account, you can, but you, otherwise you don't see. And above them are just some demons joining, and it looks like they're they're fighting in some sort of party together. They start making their way down to you. I'll, you guys are now have, probably have about. Two rounds before they arrive, you can give me some kind of far range attack, and then they'll be there. And do you want the tank I'll to fire, fire it up? They're probably about 150 feet. 100 feet. How many demons are there in the sky? A handful, probably like five. Again, I'm, uh, I'm giving you a lot of the estimates because you're just seeing red mist and right. wind and things coming at you. It's just five. Nothing to worry about. Are they too, like <laughs> close together or spread apart? Close. They are close together. Yeah, five of them plus 20 or so. These these like red salamander creatures. Okay, so yes or no, quick decision. You have to give, me two, give me within three seconds. The tank fire. Three. Fire! <laughs> and that was very decisive. What? I've never done this before! You can do it, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll, oh, for li roll for Linda. Linda, critical! Yes! Wow. Yeah. Linda! I was hoping she'd shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Set, no Seth. such luck. Actually, we'll let Tom roll. Uh, Tom, because he's not in the battle. Tom, roll 1d20. That's how many Salamanders get wiped out by the tank. Yes! <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. Whoa. I'm a war hero. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Linda. It's like when Jacques first got a gun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be the female Jacques by the end of the quest. Oh, my God, oh, baby. Wow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the, the tank blows out of the salad. They go flying into the air. It's a great start. Uh, Rob, what do you want to do? I'm going to try out my new shoulder cannons on my suit. See if I can blast one of the demons in the sky. You start firing it from way, guys. I'm gonna give you a minus because of the distance. Ten. <clears throat> what's your what's your what's your other stuff? What's your uh, attack? Um. Oh, well, my normal attack is yes. plus eight. Let's see. Okay, so yeah. So you 16. hit. Good. Uh, what's the damage on the shoulder cannon? I never got that. Uh, let's data. do three d six. Great. Nice. Oh. Oh man. Five damage. Wah wah. <laughs> It felt very, oh very felt very risk like because these are risk dice. <laughs> yes. So. so five damage total. Um, that's great. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> patrol, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no patrol. No patrol. <laughs> Getting it done. We're finally doing what it. It's all good. Right, what do you do? What's your long range attack? I want to I fire my uh, my net launcher at the demons in the sky. Okay, so you go. Boom, you fire it very far. Go ahead, roll. It is a natural 12. A natural 12. <laughs> minus two for the distance, plus two for the competence, and uh, plus 12. zero for the confidence <laughs> and, and a miss. <laughs> Damien, you're up. Uh, I'd like to move forward uh, so that I can get a good hit on anybody that comes close. Like, okay, so oh, you're just waiting with the sword. Yeah. I got my shoulder cannon I'm going to fire. 
Okay, same thing. Yep. Use a firing. I, I just roll the damage or I roll the. No, roll the attack. All right. Okay. We here in Audio I Dungeon. Figure. <laughs> Make Sorry. attempts with our dice. Ooh, uh, 15. Oh, plus a 2, right? Plus two minus, it's plus two minus two because they're too far away out okay. of the range. 15. 15. 15 mm -hmm. is, you're attacking above or below? Above. Above? Okay. You hit, do hit them. I do hit them. Mm -hmm. 14. 14 damage? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it together mm -hmm. for one creature. You hit the same one. So it's like... Ah, I know. He dies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He says no. Yay. Uh, in demon, which is a different language. What does it sound like, Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> now remember that exactly Dumb. Vin what are you doing <laughs> I was going to ask Tom if I should go for three weeks in a row with the <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't ineffective anyway I, I move up with uh, I move up what the hell is your character's name oh I'm uh, Shirky I move up Shirky. with Shirky <laughs> okay he's just waiting yeah I, my guy's all close range stuff right, we're Evan Volt range. what does Volt do I'm going to try to snipe one of them with my chaos round Oh, nice. Whoa. Okay, go for it. Chaos round. Uh, do I get uh, any plus to my attack besides the, the regular? There's actually no that plus two bonus you don't get right now because they're they're very right. far in range. Unless you wait, is it a sniper rifle? Rifle. Hashtag sniper rifle. And, and it's filled with reronies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you got reronies in a sniper <laughs> rifle? <laughs> 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 it's a sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> it's <nipple> what? <laughs> you guys don't. <laughs> you guys don't know. I I made up specifically a gun that is called a sniper riffer, and it riffs bullets. Sniper so you're all laughing at nothing. <laughs> don't you feel dumb? Now, it's the go, Swipper Ripper Upper. Exactly. Evan Evan knows because I gave it to him. So Evan, just do your normal attack. So how did it go? So much faster. Oh, did it did it riff? Did it snipple? Uh, 18. 18. See? Uh, plus, wow. I don't know if I get the, the plus or not. Is it a sniper rifle? You almost said it again. <laughs> <laughs> I paused just in the nick of time. Is it a... No, I think it's just a rifle. It's just a rifle. Okay. Yes. It's a hit. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. I like the pause. Right, it was nice. Back Oh, right, I'll come back to you. Yeah, sure. Seth, oh, you have the camera flash on. Are you moving forward? Uh, yeah, I will move up next to Shirky. Yeah. Shirky. Okay, so yeah. three of you are waiting for the salamanders to come in. Um, and that is everyone <laughs> going back to the top. And they're moving in pretty pretty quickly. They're almost there. One more round. Is the tank firing? Three, two, no. one. Hold, hold off. No. Hold off. Okay. <laughs> I fire my... Uh, thing though, so 20, <laughs> 25. Which one? What did you fire? My shoulder cannon. Let us all know. Shoulder no, I, I fire my shoulder cannon again. S your, your shoulder riffer? Sh shoulder rover. Shoulder rover. Shoulder rotor. <laughs> shoulder rotor. <laughs> shoot a demon. Okay. Shoulder rotor. Right I shoulder. do 11 damage to one. <laughs> On my shoulder. How much? I'm sorry, I was singing 11. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 11? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No. They're laughing at me because I was singing in the night. Actually, I'm laughing at both of you. You, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. He's trying to be serious. It's just complete chaos. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Oh, God. Okay, 11 damage. It's perfect dance. You go, Spider-Man. How, how far are they? It's, uh, they're about it's Feldar. They're 50 feet now. 50 feet? Yes. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, I got my damage when you're ready, though. What is it? It's two cold damage and nine regular damage. Okay, so between your hit and Rob's hit, that kills another demon. There's three demons left. Yes. Fill I'm going to cast a poisonous cloud in front of us, in between us and our enemies. Okay, so the, the three of you, the three gnomes with the tech, with the fighting tech, run up to it. You see a, a, a pellet go past you. <laughs> the poisonous cloud goes in front. Damien, nice. you're up. Uh, I still wait. Hold for, your ground. Yeah, I'm holding the ground. Shoulder can. <laughs> Shoulder rotor. Shoulder rotor. Shoulder rotor. <laughs> Gnomes have weird names 20! for stuff. Yes. They have weird 20. names for stuff, so it should be something like that. Shoulder rotor. So, like I said, was smart. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. 
Rotor. I wrote it all. Rotor and all day. Show it a rotor. Did I mention, did I mention that, I enti- that I title all these episodes? Did I mention that? <laughs> 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 Perfect. I feel like I've heard that from somewhere before. Wait, way to bring it back, Tom. Perfect. <laughs> well done, buddy. See, we talked about it. I've changed the name. Season four, episode three. Sniper Riffer Show. Sniper Riffer Show. Oh my God! <laughs> Say one thing wrong. Uh, four seasons. <laughs> See. <laughs> they forget can about I, everything you else. You know what, guys? Can I just get a re on this? Wait, can I just get a re on this? Re-roni's. Like, I'm, ro- I'm rolling. I'm rolling. 3d6 or 12. Oh, do I get a plus two? It's double. No, it's, it's double. Two. Oh, 24. So it's instant kill. So you go, you take it down. There are two demons flying in the sky. I'm with him. You're with him. You're waiting. Uh, Volt. Pop shots at another one. Go for it. Three. Did you just put a hashtag Rironi up again? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, he did. Oh, my Seth's God. Seth's trolling me from the, uh, from the, the bottom right of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, Seth Price. This is the last thing I do. Seth, you're welcome anytime, my friend. What was the attack? I <laughs> uh, was a three. So, okay. <clears throat> no. Seth, you go. My turn? Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming the gas is still in the way? Yes. Uh, and the wind is blowing, correct? There's wind. Can I go upwind? Uh, starter. Okay, you can go upwind. <laughs> so, yeah, where the poison's not blowing, start my way around to maybe okay. ambush newts from behind. Okay, so you're circumventing for... Yeah, yeah, stay away from the poison, you go around for a flank. Okay, uh, this is the round they're attacking. I wanna, they're actually going to attack first. They come out into the poisonous area, and um, we'll, make, we'll make it a roll. Okay. Nice chug, Tom. You see uh, two of them succumb to the poison. Oh, just fall to the ground. <clears throat> uh, the rest of them run through, and they come into combat with you guys. And we're going to put three guys in each of you. Here we go. Damien, you're up first. Okay. It is a six. It is a nine. It is a 16. 16 hit you. Uh, oh, you're in the, you're in the, uh, in the suit. Yeah, you no. said I have, they, okay. they come up to you. They, they take they, like some of these spears. One of them uh, jumps on you and starts clawing you. And they're just like clawing the outside of a garbage can. <laughs> and you're like, this is great. <laughs> <I can't touch." laughs> okay. Um, you're up there as well? Um, no, they went past me. Who's the third person with you? Uh, me and, oh, yeah. and Seth. And, and Seth. Okay. Yes. So, Vinny, they go up to you. I got a 13. A 17 and a natural 20. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Which suit do you have? Uh, the electro, electro suit. Okay, so you only got one hit on you. Uh, let me do their damage, though. You take 16 damage. Eight doubled. Uh, Seth, I'm going to see if they see you right now. We're gonna... They do not see you. So, Seth, you, you circumvent the rest of them. Uh, they're coming in in droves, but there's about three on you. The next round, there'll be about five on you. I'll roll that. And when this round, you can attack. You go. Do you want to fi- have them? Do you want to have Jacques fire a tank into uh, your allies and enemies? Three. No. Two. <laughs> okay. Into your allies. We'll hit theirs as well. Do you also want an underwater suit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I switch. I switch suits. I switch um. suits. <laughs> I take ten minutes. I switch my suit, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm ready for water. <laughs> Let's go. Go ahead. We want to do. Optimism. All right. I'll tr- take out uh, one of these final two flying demons. Go for it. Uh, okay. It's a twenty-seven. Hit. Come on. Oh, come on. Six damage. Six damage. Oh. Okay. Dan, you're up. Uh, I have three of them on me. Yeah. No, you don't. You're not, the only ones are the front lines. Uh, okay. So. Um, how far now? The demons are close to us. Too? They're all close range. Everything. All right, I'm gonna fire uh, another net at the demons in the okay. sky. Go for it. Now um, we do not get the minus two. You get the plus two. We get a plus two. Yeah. yeah, unnatural twenty. Nice. That is a Ooh. hit. You net him. You net yourself a demon. Yes. Demon falls to the ground and he says, uh, "No, I can't believe you caught me." <laughs> That's what that. Demon. Hope you're writing this down. 100%. Damien, you go. 
<laughs> All right. Um, I will. I still have those guys that are like on me, right? The, the, yes. Uh, you take out the huge Buster Sword and you can make attack on all three of them. Like, oh, <laughs> great. I'll do that then. Oh, cross. Wow. 15 plus the two, 17. Plus the attacks of the sheet. Yeah, yeah. You absolutely hit. You come across all three. <laughs> you can uh, do 46 damage. Ooh. That's the Buster Buster? <laughs> yeah, it's a Buster Riffler. <laughs> 13. <laughs> 13 damage? Yep. You slice through all of them, <clears throat> cut them in oh half. God. Nice. They get Darth Mauled. Yay! Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so that's that. What do you want to do? Cannon fodder. Go ahead. Shoulder cannon mm -hmm. fodder. <laughs> uh, is it a plus two? Or yes, plus two. Okay, 13. That is a miss. The, the burst, how far out does it go? Because I don't want to hit my companion. 10 feet. What? Are they within range? My two companions are within range of me. Everyone like, is near a guy, so it's not a good time, probably. Okay, so then I'll just do the uh, the punch, the the sh shock stun punch. Okay. Uh, unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. I like that you roll into your the bottom of your dice tower and not <laughs> drop well, it the did. die into the tower. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it takes, that. It, it takes a little. It takes a little time for it to, to get down. It's, too long. it's faster. Yes. To, yeah. You can you imagine the time Gotta wasted? Wait. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> right? so this one, this one, what a hassle. Well, no, no, this, this one, I won't, this one, one like I won't make go down the seconds. dice tower anyway. That's he doesn't like, want to make it too random. Please don't make me go down the dice tower. No, no, this is, this is, the, this is the expensive one. I think he doesn't. You know, he doesn't want to make it like Just too roll. random. Don't let go. Don't let go. It's like the roll is random. Don't enough. my eyes. I got no problem putting him down there. Oh. I don't like putting this one down there. This one. But that fine Master Monk product is gonna take good care of your dice. I'm I am. I am sure Monk will. Master Monk. Made this amazing dice tower so you can roll it down, and you're like, hey, I know, like, I toss roll it into the dice tray. tower. I'm, just, right? I'm so used to just throwing it and just being on with it. <laughs> but now you have this huge, <laughs> I know, luxurious I know. Uh, tower. Yeah. Fine. Now that you've shamed me, I will have to. What did you roll? Tower <laughs> shame. Uh, it was an unnatural 20. <laughs> tower shame. <laughs> I've been tower shamed. <laughs> <laughs> tower shame. That's right. Hashtag tower shame. That's <laughs> right. Let's all make fun of the video now again. <laughs> <laughs> We're back around to Vin. <laughs> that, that, let's keep it over there. Let's keep it over there. Did I mention I make up the names to all of these episodes? Tom, you need to go back okay, to this side of the table. Let's go. <laughs> what, do I hit? what do I do damage here? Yes, definitely hit. What, what, what's the uh, damage on it? Um, what do you use? Oh, the, oh, the, the blast. The 3d6. 3d6? Yeah. Uh, 6 6 6 6 6 Make sure you roll it against the tower, not in it. <laughs> yeah, don't no. What are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's ruling. <laughs> Man, that took forever. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still, it's the same episode. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> no, you people are like, is this episode still going on? <laughs> I'm still alive. Nine damage. Man, can you finish rolling those dice? <laughs> I'm just so used to throwing them. I like <laughs> Man, that took forever. <laughs> Nine damage. Nine no, it's been 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. This bitch the age of Dragano has passed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh so uh, you do nine damage, and uh, they're pretty hurt. Um, Volt, you go, Evan. How far is the one that's stuck in the net from me? Oh, not far at all, about 20 feet. Okay, can I go up and do shock and grasp? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Do it. Do it, now. do it. Do it. Did you do it? <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Good. Tell me when you do it. <laughs> oh my so god. So I got a 21. 21. That is a hit. You shock him. He's shocked. Brooke, show me a shocked demon. <laughs> okay. That was good. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Uh, what, so it can't <laughs> take reactions until the start of its next turn, and it takes four lightning damage. Four lightning damage. Okay. Four. Okay, um, Seth. Um, all right. Are there any nukes that are not in the poison cloud? There are any? Oh, um, yes. There are There are some. They pretty much passed you because they didn't see you, so you can come in and get a flank. You can roll with advantage. <laughs> all right. Um... So, uh, well, you told me a couple of special weapons I have. Yes. Um, can I sleep needle one? Yes. Okay, so the one that's furthest in the back. Okay, you run behind him, you shank him. Or you try to shank him. 
Got to make a roll advantage. Okay. Ooh. Um. So that would be a nine plus two. <laughs> oh. That's yeah. with advantage. With that's with advantage. That's with advantage. The Ooh. other roll was a three. Oh, oh no! Oh, God. Boy, man. So you go up to it, you're swinging, you're swinging, and uh, you're not hitting him. He's like, I feel air behind me. What's this? <laughs> Swing, bada bada. <laughs> okay, that is it. They're attacking you guys. Uh, Damien, you, well, you, uh, yeah, you, it's just still other guys. We killed, no, we killed 15. So seven. Okay, there is 15 plus the, th plus the three, a few other guys. You're going to have two guys on you. You have two guys on you, and there's one guy that Seth is taking care of is coming in, and that is the end of the whole thing. Right. Um, Damien, this guy attacks right. you. A five oh. and a two. They are both misses. Nice. They pale in comparison to your buster suit. Yes. Natural 20 on you again. Oh, Woo. my God. And a, and a 13, which is a miss. One plus four equals five plus times two is ten. Ten damage. I'm at 26 uh, damage. The one that's running from Seth is just running, and uh, he's going to make his way to you. Um, and he rolls a six, he misses. And that is it. In the How's round. How's looking, Tony? They all, all the guys, well, the guys coming in, some of them have been, all of them haven't been hit yet. No, Vinny. Vinny. How's oh. Vinny yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know what the suit's, uh, you've capacity taken a bit, is. You've taken a bit of damage, you're probably about halfway. I'm at 26 damage right now. Yeah, the suit is probably like, it has some cracks on it. Okay. You're okay. Okay, I'm gonna try a different tech here on this last guy flying in. I'll pull out my rifle <laughs> out of its holster and take three shots at him. Yes. Now two misses and a natural twenty. I like how you said two misses, but you don't want to mention that one of them <laughs> is a one. <laughs> oh. Two misses and natural twenty. See, staring at the DM's oh, dice it? while he rolls is twofold oh when you sit God. next to the DM. <laughs> so <laughs> now what is this? I forgot. I get two attacks. Two My rifle. Attacks. Oh, you could do, you could do second attack ahead. It's it's a attack that does. Is it three separate attacks? Yeah. Okay. Just my old fashioned, my original rifle. Okay, so which <laughs> colors first? It was the your Winchester. original. <laughs> I guess the one was first. But oh, so honest of you. Because you, you were so honest, we're going to make the green first. The same yes. Uh, All right. See, see, Rob, see what happens when you're honest? See what happens? But you're it's getting things get better. Oh, okay, another six, but this is the, this is the guy I hit earlier? Yes. Okay. <laughs> is, is he dead? Don't you have a plus to that? Are you, are you adding your dex oh, bonus onto it? Oh, my pl uh, plus. Uh, this is your main thing? Like, I'm yeah. sorry. sorry. I'm getting confused because of the cannon. Plus seven damage. Plus seven damage. Oh, no. your Three plus four. Tony, you said I can take my other attack? Yes, take it. Seven total damage. All right, I'm just going to put my rifle to his head and pull the trigger. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my. Well, okay. Go for it. <laughs> He's like, for seven. this. So. Dodge this. <laughs> <laughs> Does that include a bullet from this gun? Okay, seven damage uh, takes, him, takes him down. Miss, oh, draw one. No, 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 a five or seven. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, you take him down, and the other two miss. Uh, at the end of it, which rifle are which, you rifle using? Yeah. Your rifle jams up. Ah. Roll off the one. <clears throat> Let's see if it's temporary or permanent. Five. Five. Temporary. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Got a lot of sand in that gun. <laughs> for a sandy gun. For a skilled engineer like Arky, he'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, right. eventually. Of course yeah. you will. In the middle of the battle. Go ahead. Dan. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Oh, okay. uh, so I, I got oh, a guy on guys. me, right? Oh, my God. There's five salamanders, and that got, is pretty much it. I got one on me, though, right? Yes. I'm going to do a claw attack. Okay. Five. So one of your limbs comes out. <laughs> tries to go after him. He dodges it. A five? Doesn't hit? No. Oh. A five. Shucks. Let uh, me check. I, I missed as well. Nope. Oh, what ten. really? Yeah, well, ten, oh. right? Ten doesn't hit, right? What a waste. Nope. No. It does not. I missed. Brooke. I shoot again okay. at, at the salam. Oh, wait, are there any away from them? No. No, okay. Um, Just don't roll low. I rolled a 15. Oh, all that you've already rolled? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> she but I can rolls. roll again. I can roll Usually again. we say what we're going to do. Let me roll again. Let me roll again. Yeah, yeah I roll. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack the one on Dan. Okay. But I'm going to, like, physically go up and, like... Oh, melee? Yeah. Okay. Melee. Okay. okay. Roll that die. Oh, my God. Did you roll a one? We get a plus two, right? Fiverr. I rolled a five? Yeah. Okay, so it was a miss. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> Vingo. I will do another this is a dramatic stu- round. I will do another stunning <laughs> fist on that guy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go to use the towel? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was so oh great. my god! <laughs> 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 oh my lord. He wants it over the <laughs> It wouldn't have mattered. Vinny, trust I'm, your instincts. Don't, that don't, don't succumb to peer pressure. I gotta get in touch with. <laughs> you should probably I practice. Got, I gotta get in touch with TJ. You're gonna make me a special funnel Boys because I'm spat while you don't succumb to peer pressure. You need to work on that, man. See? He looks so nervous when he does it. Oh, the pressure's on. You should probably practice, practice with that at home. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm dizzy right now. I'm dizzy. I'm laughing so hard. Uh, oh, my God. It's a, it's a uh, I love 17. this show. It brings it's a back to Joe versus the so volcano. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs> it's a 17. Oh, wait. We got to do this again. Did you get your die back? <laughs> it's a 17. Yeah, yeah, it's a 17. There's no way you're not rolling it in there now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that's uh, 15 damage. Oh, man. 15 damage. <laughs> That was okay. wonderful. That's worth it. <laughs> wow. Wow. I hope that was I, the great. Steve, on the switch, uh, who's been switching and uh, does a lot of stuff for us, I hope that you got that on camera. Uh, I hope we can make a clip of that immediately. <laughs> this, this is why we need to close taste. <laughs> yes. If only us. Yes. Um, tower of shame. Tower of shame. <laughs> tower yes. Tower of shame. Tower of shame. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> Amazing. That wasn't me. That's, that, I'm reading the Twitch chat. Oh, well, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Derek Lux in. Peter Heffernan says Tower of Shame. Yes. And we're, we're, you know what? I said that we're going to send it to Master Mug. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, they're going to see the show. I'm, de- I'm definitely they're asking TJ to make me a big, like, funnel thing. <laughs> funnel. <laughs> oh, my God. We got to buy him a funnel. <laughs> Oh my god, next week you're gonna show up and Oh my god! Somebody please make a, a dice funnel for this dice tower. Just like a big family salad bowl with a whole Here we go! <laughs> Man, this takes forever. A big audio dungeon logo on yeah. it. Uh, Vinny, are you still rolling? <laughs> yes. Okay. I so start rolling next week's rolls. It's gonna block. What are we up to right now? What happened? You did 15 uh, damage. 15 damage. <laughs> okay, you kill a salamander. Oh, jeez. You kill a salamander. See, kill yeah. a salamander. See, it does take too long. Evan, you go. <laughs> oh God. All right, I'm gonna oh, amazing. Take the chaos shot. The one by me. <sighs> go ahead. Uh, one on the first one. <laughs> Roll off the one. I just got some okay. tarot. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even gone yet. Uh, 11. <laughs> 11. That's a miss. And even worse, so miss. Okay, Seth. I'm going to try to stab him with another sleep needle. Go for it. Do I still have advantage? Yes. 14. Thanks to Ren for that reroll. Sorry, I couldn't use it well. Did you add the plus two in for the for the uh, 14? Uh, I did not. 16. That's a hit. That's nice. I have these feelings. <clears throat> what is the hit? 15 is, is what you need. Gotcha. What is your, I, what is your damage? I, you oh. did not tell me. Oh, for, oh, oh, it's a sleepy thing. That's right. Sleepy thing. <laughs> Sleep. Night night. Oh, sleepy. He's gone. <laughs> he falls asleep. He's sleeping on the floor. Uh, if you want to use your second attack and just kill him, you may. Uh, sure. You may, you may I, melee. Him. I like the thought. I like the yeah. thought about it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to yet. Okay, he's melee. done. Uh, he really is a monster. He's a monster. <clears throat> okay, this is uh, these salamanders. There's, I think there's like uh, one or two left now. The two Something on like you. That. I think two on there's, me. There's one on me. Mm. There's two on you, one on you, and... I think there's one on me. You killed one. Me. Yeah, I killed one. Oh, I killed one. Yeah, that's right. So I got two. Okay. And one's so... <clears throat> I'm willing the morale, but I feel like they would leave. I did make a morale check, but I just don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> um, they start... They take off. They run. You got everyone. Um, Dan, Damien, and Vin... You have uh, six seconds to roll a die and give me a result and see if you hit. Six, five, no, I missed. four. Then he needs three, ten. Two. A two. Fifteen. A f- oh, I Fifteen. Four. You hit him. You roll damage. Yeah. What's what's the I damage from my claw? Uh, I rolled. Make it two d six. 
Two D six. Six. Six damage. Okay, you heard him. They make can we their take shots as they're fleeing. Yeah, they make their runs. You can all take shots. Uh, just give me give me hits, and we'll wait. Make them deaths. Sixteen. Hit. That's a death. I got a twenty. <coughs> twenty as a kill. Going again? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got 15. no range. Thirteen plus two. 15. Seth, take a shot. Thirteen plus two is a hit. Uh, fifteen. Okay, so you got, between all of you guys and a natural 20, you guys start running away, take him out, and Gnome Patrol has had their first victory. Woo! Yay! 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 We did it! We did it! Oh, we did it! Did anybody kill the demon in the net? Oh, he's shocking grass. He <laughs> shot him in the head, right? He shocking grassed him. Wasn't there two? Did he get there was two? One, no, there was one that he one? Oh, one that one. Was shocking grass, but he hurt him. And he's still in the net now. If you want to keep him prisoner, you could, or you could just finish him off. Your choice. I'll let Gnome Patrol. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? I wanna, I wanna test uh, hitting him with different types of damage to see what they're weak to. <laughs> Look at this guy. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Look at this guy. Nice. Savvy. Okay, go for it. Um, you have pretty. Just tell me if you have pretty much Incredible. every element type. Uh, I have acid, fire, cold, and lightning. Acid, fire, cold, and lightning. Lightning and ice, anything cold, they are susceptible. It'd be times two damage. And thunder. <laughs> Sonic and Sonic's the same. Yeah. Okay, so they're so the cold and lightning. Cold and lightning, yes, they're, they're uh, susceptible. I picked a good suit to be in. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you got a demon killer suit on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna jump over to um, uh, the Rhaegar crew. You guys are flying in the ship. Let's get a role play session. You guys walk onto the uh, the ship, and you see that um, the gnomes have been f finishing a last install on some sort of weird device. And basically, it's a chair that is uh, rigged up into the system with uh, all these gears and everything, and it's sitting on the uh, the deck. And um, Raphael sits down and uh, starts concentrating and meditating. And all of a sudden, you see like a like a shield emit around the entire uh, ship. Wow. And he opens his eyes, and his eyes are like the same color as the shield. And he's just like sitting there. And he seems to be very aware of otherworldly things, perhaps. Uh, you guys can role play. I go over and I give him a little... <laughs> front of the eyes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty impressive. Look at this. That is... Uh, as you guys are flying, you see the other two ships. <laughs> Same thing. And they admit you guys make your way in, into the fire. <sighs> Did anyone before we took off actually get the chest from our other airship? You have the chest. You're, you're, on, you're on the same it's airship. The same ship. And they installed it. Oh, okay. It's on the same one. Okay. Yep. Alright. Uh, <coughs> don't worry about that. Oh, you forgot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Scott Weber says, breaking news. Out of Andaria, Gnome Patrol has had their first victory and <laughs> tortures captives, seeing what hurts them the most. <laughs> awesome. More news at 11. <laughs> Coming up, Bongo's review of Rocky 5000. <laughs> Mar Mark Shank. Wow, good memory. I never remembered Bongo is in there. Is that the really what it says? I remember the review yeah. of Rocky 5000. Um, <laughs> okay, so you guys are making your way into the fire. You guys uh, travel for a while. Um, you guys, for you guys, have traveled for about um, two days now, and it's all fire. It's fire. Um, it's all this mist, misty red fire. It's kind, of, it's kind of like going through clouds in and out. So there's times where it clears up. There's times where you see very far. There's times where you can see nothing but the mist that's in front of you. And you okay. see the mist is actually damaging the shield, and you can tell Raphael is actually using his magic to keep it up. So he's actually using his spell points to, to withstand it. Um, so after that two day point, you guys see something very unusual. And what you see, is you look down at the ground, you pass over a crevice, and out in the middle of the desert is this tank rolling on the ground <laughs> and these suits walking right by it, which you instantly, instantly recognize as being some kind of um, gnomish tech. Contraptions. Yeah. <gasps> Role play. You know what that reminds me of? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> Arky. <laughs> hey. It does, it does remind me of Arky. Uh, they, we... they... Yeah. Um... Can we go check it can out? see them at all? Now, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, no, no. You guys on the floor do not see them. You guys are really high up. Now, when you're going in, if you remember the map, which some of you may, you now need to make a left turn to go to Low Hills, or you're going to go kind of east or to the right um, towards where they are, which is a different direction. So either stay on plan or break the plan. <sighs> Decisions. 
Damn it, Tony. Oh, Finn. <laughs> okay, all right. It's up to you. <laughs> Alright, here's that's... what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it. If that's Arky down there, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and send a message to Arky and just say, Hey, are you walking through the desert in a giant <laughs> robot suit right now? And Arky says, Yes. I'm gonna ask to lower the ship. Arky says, New suit, who this? <laughs> and if he says no, then we'll keep going and just assume that it's somebody else. Mornbrook okay. comes over to you and right. says, like, guys, if we go down there, we're going to risk the entire fleet. What are these, some, these, these demons? You, never, you can't believe how big they are. To go down that low with these airships, they're going to come after us. Mm. So if you want to do that, it's fine, but it, well, there's a risk here. Now, now I'm going okay. I'm, I'm to explain to you what the risk is. We're going to go around a table, and it's going to be a one through three for everyone and guests to roll if a demon is going to come. That is the risk, so you can kind of weigh it out. One, right two, three on a, okay. on a six? What on a on a four. On a D twenty. On a four. On a D four. <laughs> <On a D4. laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. All right. It's up to so you. Role play. Now you, now you now you can you can correctly weigh the risk. It's your choice. Okay. Mm. Okay. How high up? Um, How high up is the airship? Yeah. Um, it gotta be a few miles. Wow. All right. So. I send a, a sending to Arky Fit. Arky, this is Findelar Lotton. Return from 22 years in the past. You may be surprised to hear my voice, but I need to know: Are you walking across the desert in one of your metal suits right now? Yes. If he... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, look up. Roll a perception check. <laughs> You're looking real high up. Nope. <laughs> you look up, you see nothing. Hang on, can I, uh, I can add to his roll. I rolled a five. How are you going to add to his roll? Uh, one of my things is <coughs> Flash of Genius. I gain the ability to come up with solutions under pressure. No. You or another. He doesn't. That's a metagame. Yeah, I was going to say, he doesn't creative. know that's happening. That's a metagame. You don't know what's happening. <coughs> oh, okay. I don't see him look up. So far. No, no, you him looking up doesn't mean anything to you. It's, it's a metagame. Um, okay. You look up. You're just not seeing him. Finn, can you hear me? Um, let me double check. I'm, tur I'm turning to Tom. Look to him. It's not a radio. I'm like this. I'm like, where is he? <laughs> Give me one sec. I just want to make sure I can, uh, how long this lasts. It might just be like a one, one off kind of a thing. Right. If you guys decide to go down there too, we can also let the fans roll. Mm -hmm. We'll take the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rolls. We'll take the first eight we see. Don't roll yet. And no reason to start rolling right now. What's up, Evan? Uh, Oni saying that Liv has her own command and is flying escort. Okay. Granted. Wow. All right. All right, I uh, so that you can, that's, it's, just a, it's just a back and forth. You, I, that, that even look up didn't happen. So uh, oh, okay. I, I just just uh, yes. So I'll on say, your left. I'll say again. Um, I'll, I'll send another one. I go, uh, Arky, we're in an airship very high above you right now. Where are you going? We are going to. <coughs> yeah, remember the the dwarven city of hills. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should go there instead. You can respond uh, back with a ten-word message. He's trying to, but he's he's, he's <laughs> incapable. I, low hills. I was letting you know, like this—that's how much you have. Um. Okay. Low hills. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll we'll meet you there. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Goodbye, Finn. Was that ten? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get all that? Okay, we'll meet you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, Finn. Goodbye, Finn. <laughs> um. Okay, so role play. Unknown patrol. Role play with them. I just got a message from Findelar. A message? Huh? Yes. What, what do you mean a message? message? A message. I see birds. From he's one of the old Blackwater bandits. Shock. What it's are Finn. you talking about? He said they're heading to Low Hills. 
Do you what? need are you, water? Are you Where's sure the it's not like, Are you sure it's not like Dragano trying to trick us or something? We're like in the middle of all this fire stuff. Mm. Listen, the Blackwater bandits are in the past. It's all about the Gnome Patrol these days, Arky. GP Gnome Patrol! Are you feeling okay? <laughs> yeah, Arky. I know they respect them. You've been talking about them coming back soon. That must be they them. Yes, I kept talking about them. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do that, we can, but that is a serious left turn we have to make. We might as well have gone the other way. Do we have to go back across the bridge? No, we, it, it's it's probably for us to drive there. It's probably about uh, five days. And how far is it to the... Maybe they can pick it's, us up. It's about five days from here, but it's in the other direction. Well, what's the situation in Low Hills? <sighs> All these places, no one has gone out there. If, if people survive, they make their way out to one of the coastal cities, but... Um, no one has seen these towns or cities. Can I? Sorry. That's why can I talk to Finn on the ship or no? No. no? Oh, you mean as a busy? Yeah. As a Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, <laughs> Finn, I, yeah. I'm thinking maybe I can I can tap into the collective consciousness of another planet here and maybe sing a song that can help rise them up to us, and then we could scoop them up with the airship, and we wouldn't really have to lower down too much to put ourselves at risk. You can collect the con- what? I, I, I can sing a song, dude. You just said. I can sing a song. If you can sing a song- I can sing a song. Fly into the sky? Yeah, the, they can like possibly meet us up. They can rise up to us, and then we can- I can't wait up. to see how this plays. Even he's chomping at the bit to see how this goes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I have, I have a. Well, all right. And that's the end of no Which control. character am I playing? Uh, I got it. 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 Okay. I'm on the air. I'm, I'm, I'm both. You're on the air. I'm both. I know that. Do you know that? Okay. All right. All right. Um, can so I, I, I try to look. Can we see? We can, do we see anything from where we are? Like. I don't, you can see that, what I described to you before. It's like, okay, so we, we could see, like, the mechs kind yeah. of a little bit in the yeah. tank. Okay. Um, you're going to you're, you're gonna do what? You're going to make them fly up here? I can like try really to. really far. I know, but I have... Aren't they? They look big, don't they? <laughs> well, depending on... On what I roll and what the DM decides, it depends mm -hmm. on how. <laughs> <laughs> say, it, say it again in game for him. <laughs> don't they look big to do that? I mean, I don't know. They are. Is that a good idea? I don't. I, I mean, I'm just saying. They look really if it big. Doesn't, it, if, right? Go ahead, Ben. I'm sorry. To me. Okay, you see that your airships now that you guys have taken no action yeah. are, are flying their journey and making the journey towards. To yeah, I mean, not not All like right. lightning speed from what I just right, said, but right. you're turning. Okay. Still going. They don't have a, a hover. <laughs> Put her in, in hover. They don't have a hover. What do you mean? It's not a hover. Like are they no. like like are they balloon airships or are they like airplanes where they have to keep moving? The ships, no, they don't have. They can hover. The airships are uh, powered by uh, the the blue crystals that allows them to to fly, and the green crystals um, actually allow them to diminish the power of the blue crystals, making them lower and raise. All I know is, whatever yes, happens here, <laughs> with the song she chose, this is going to be fantastic. Awesome. All right, now I'm definitely I, in. I was already getting in. <laughs> I'm not necessarily <laughs> saying let's, it's Let's do good. this. Enough conjecture. <laughs> okay. I, 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 have, I have faith in you. Okay, I've seen, okay. You, I've, I've seen you use this ability before, and it's two things that are beyond my magic. Wait, you think wait that a second. Them I, need, I need to get ready for this. <laughs> well, I, you know, I don't know if it's... <laughs> If it's gonna no, be. No, no, no. Don't lose faith now. We had a plan. <laughs> You're another mile away now. Oh, God. We've been sitting here for five minutes. You must make action. Okay, we're another mile away. I don't think it's smart then. Okay. If we're that far away. Yeah, you could turn around. You were already miles away. Now you're one more mile away. Um, Can the airship turn around? Yeah, yes, you, you got to you, you got to tell them. You I'm, can turn I'm, I'm asking because okay. I, I don't think she understands so can, that. Okay, so can we turn the airship around and just go a little closer to them? Yes, if you think you can get them up here, then we should tell yeah. them to do that. Yeah. So, okay, so you tell losing, Mortimer. 
losing ten yeah. minutes of time. Is okay. Okay, so All the right, three airships you, turn into that direction, into an off course, into that area. We will mm-hmm. be doing a roll, a danger roll in a second. Make your... Um, For what? Thing. Nothing. Make a roll. <laughs> for danger, <laughs> clearly. I'm making a roll for what? For the danger roll or for my song? No, for your song. Okay. Do I sing the song first? No. Yeah. Okay. So the song I chose is Rise Up. And I'm going to focus on the lyrics where it says... Um, okay, so I'll just sing it. Great. <clears throat> And I'll rise up high like the waves. I'll rise up in spite of the ache. Okay, so that's it because I don't. I only do like two lines, right? I'll rise up. Yeah. Spite, okay. So hot. Okay. I'll rise up high like the waves, and I want them to all come up to us like. Rise up like the waves. Yeah. Uh. And then rise up was the last part of it. In spite of the ache. Spite well, no. The, 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 the two of them are. I'll, oh, the two lines. No, the two <laughs> lines are. Hurt. I'll rise up. Highlight the waves. That's the two rise. But you, you sing more than that. So mm-hmm. sing, sing, just read out what you said, what you sang. Rise up like the I'll waves. rise up, highlight the waves. Those are the two lines. <clears throat> and then rise up despite what was what, what? No, that's not. Rise up. What's the, what's, the, what's the second line you sang? There's there's two lines. And what I'll you sang is what you sang is what I'm going to use. Just just read the, just read the two lines. <laughs> to me. It's very simple. One I just did. So you said no. Read the end. All you got to do is read what you I sang. I read the two. Lo- okay, what I sang. I'll rise up, highlight the waves. I'll rise up in spite of the ache. That's four lines. Spite of the ache? Yeah, but that's four lines. Anytime I've read four lines, you've always, always told me to choose two. That's true. Yes. Uh, roll your die. But I guess it's season four now, and it's different. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll. I'm using one of those re-rolls. <laughs> oh! Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> Keeping it? Biddy, can I use your tower? We still have fourteen. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We still have fourteen rerolls. Okay, no, yeah, more. I'm using one more. I'm using one more. This is the last I'm using one. one, you one can more. Use. This is the one more. Come on, twenty. This is the one, baby. This is the one. All right, uh, fourteen. Uh, plus two, right? Okay, mm. Yeah, that's the plus two. Oh wait, my charisma. <clears throat> Don't I have my charisma? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then that's that's a twenty-one. Okay. Oh. Noted. Rise like the wave. <sighs> Spite of the ache. Got it. No, that's not fair. Got it. But okay, great. <laughs> How's it not fair? You sang those lines to me. But any other time I've sang it, you said <clears throat> choose two lines. Mm-hmm. So okay, no, that's fair. Okay, so I'll, I'll use ahead. the I'll use the first two lines. Okay, great. And thanks. the last one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> we're gonna go right over for the final part of this. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, and it's gonna be Hogar. And then we're gonna end it right here. <coughs> Finn, I tried. Um, <laughs> oh man! Thank you, Finn. Hogar, you uh, you walk up, and you see yeah. <clears throat> the Red Knight walking up to you. And he's looking around, and he doesn't pull out his sword, at least not yet. And he walks up to. He's within like twenty-five feet of you. And he's looking at you. <sighs> Pulls off the helmet, and you see him in front of you. Is King Argon. I was 100% right. And that is where we're going to end audio dungeon for wow. today. Oh my Guys. god, dude! <laughs>